Let's get this train wreck started. Hey. <laughs> All right, hey, it's my baby, the role play bubble grade. We're playing monsters and other childish things. Dan is running the game. This is something you'll be running in Gen Con. Gen Con. Gen Con. Gen Con. 2015. Ah. Mombasa. So, you know, five years from now when you guys actually hear this as a B-side, you'll understand where the campaign came from. Um, campaign? One shot? Well, it's a one shot that I've been hoping to write a campaign around. Ah. So you're saying we need to try as hard as possible to fuck things up. <laughs> well, um, this particular session is what I envision the final confrontation to be. So I'm hearing yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'll, okay, let's get, let's get one caveat out of the way, not haunting the level fucked up. We have three dudes Maybe already. for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, Dan already got ha- we already have characters. We didn't have we didn't like make, you know, Mormon Scientologists. Yeah, and Dan was here within <laughs> half an hour of the rest of the group, so uh... <laughs> I learned my lesson. I was actually here before anybody else. Uh, anyway, you're not running the game. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> nope. This would be hurting cats all night. This oh, great. yeah. I'm sad I, I don't even have any surge or anything. So like Oh, man. Yeah. Anyway, we okay. for Gen Con. So the tag, the title for this particular scenario is the White Forest Institute. Um, as I explained through communicating with you guys before, but I'll explain it again for the sake of the listeners. You guys are playing the pre-generated kids and their monsters from the book because I am lazy. Yeah. At Woo! this point in Toy time. Store. Toy Story. Toy Story. You guys, for one reason or another, have gotten yourself into deep, fast trouble. You, your monster has caused such a ruckus, and there is no way to explain out of it that you have been deemed to be a significant threat to yourself or others, and the fact that you're trying to blame it on somebody that is not you, or that you, the due to the severity, you've been deemed ment- as a mentally ill child, and you need to receive the specific services of the White Forest Institute, who has come to your family and pretty much offered to cure your almost free of charge. That's not ominous. No, <laughs> not at all. Now, the way this session is going to go is that you guys are going to play as your kids in the sense of, you know, trying to navigate the last bits of social structure that is living in a youth group home setting, while your monsters uh, have have not known where you are and they finally found you but due to some weird conflicts of arcane powers they cannot manifest in a way that you can perceive them so for the last three months or more depending on your kiddo and how long you feel like you want to be there you are you you are starting to get that inkling that maybe your monster is just a figment of your imagination Sad. Yep. <laughs> so, for like I also explained, um, normally the bond between child and monster is ridiculously overpowered and cannot be quantified with a number for the sake of this game. And I, you guys actually have an additional relationship with your monster that is set at four. Okay. <coughs> so, some things to explain. Normally, when you're dealing with delinquent youth, there's some kind of social hierarchy that is put in order. I'm using one of the basic ones. Um, You guys have all been here for at least three months, so you're all members of the group already. If you want to increase the amount of time and risk having starting the session with extra damage to your relationship with your monster, you can incur yourself into a higher social status to start, and but there is also the risk involved. The high, having the higher social status will give you some benefits that you can call about while you're trying to navigate the social structures of the group or what have you. You guys are pretty much all in the general members level. Your options are you can go to con artist level, which is pretty much you are able to uh, negotiate with the staff. You're kind of the interface between the clients and the staff. You're the one that can talk the staff into doing certain activities. You know, your behavior is generally seen as good, and they'll occasionally turn a blind eye to you because more often than not, you're actually doing the right thing. Um, you just get caught up in some bad situations. You can go to the lieutenant level, where being the lieutenant means that you pretty much advocate and you are the right hand of the leader's decisions. 
Um, so you get to command more respect out of the other kids, but you also get a lot less choice. If the leader tells you to do something, you do it, or you lose all your standing. The leader can pretty much speak, and everyone will listen to you. Usually leader positions are given to someone with either a very forceful personality or someone who's just been there for so long, they're just the assumed de facto leader. Uh, or you can voluntarily make yourself the scapegoat of the group, which essentially means that if something bad happens, you get the blame for it. But it also means that everyone's eyes are on you. That initially sounds like something bad, but that also means that you get to determine. You could also get to do things like if. Sorry, uh, for, oh, sorry. Like if someone Whatever wants was to make a distraction, you are the most likely candidate to pull it off. Or if someone else tries to make the distraction, you are the person that can most likely sabotage their plans by acting out on your own. What was the name of that one? Scapegoat. <laughs> Um, Ross is interested in your materials and would like to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs> you can be. You can also choose to be a gopher. That's not. It's. Um, you're again at the whims of the leader. Uh, you essentially do the things that the leader tells you to do. Well, as opposed to the lieutenants, who you risk losing standing if you say no. Um, it's kind of like being a gopher is buying protection from the mob. By doing things for the leader, the leader will also in turn do things for you on a small, on an equitable scale. While the lieutenants are expected to carry out enforcing his protection or her protection. Okay. Okay. So, anyone have any thoughts? Well, there are five uh, roles, and there's five of us, so each of us should, maybe each of us should take a different role. Uh, mm-hmm. I, Con orders. Okay. So, leader then? Or <laughs> No, con artist. Oh, was that the That was a thing. That okay. was the and you can also just accept to be a general member. That incurs no benef- no extra benefits, no... Just a follower. So. Just a follower. What are the benefits of, what, like, game mechanics of wise, what, uh, Gopher? Does that jeopardize the relationship? Um, anything besides general member jeopardizes the relationship in some okay. way. Um, to be a leader, you pretty much are going to start off with... Um, three roles of the therapist that has been working with you because you've been there for that much longer Yeah. to see whether or not the therapist has managed to convince you that your monster is not real. I see. Um, lieutenants uh, are two. Uh, gophers, con- uh, lieutenants and scapegoats are two. Gophers, con artists um, are one free role before we start actually playing and interacting. Uh, <coughs> And even the leader does not mean there can only be one. Mm -hmm. You can have multiple leaders inside the group, and the leaders sometimes choose to work together, or sometimes the leaders work adversarial against one another and create more chaos, but that's mostly a bigger headache on the staff's part than anyone else. So... Hmm. Uh, I'll do Gopher. I think Ralph would probably... Oh, yeah, our characters. Uh, Yeah, so introduce your characters. Um... Just kind of, even though... These are from the monsters and other genres. Yes, these yes. guys are all from the book, so let's go around the table and introduce your characters. Um, if you have a thought as to what role you want to ta- try to take on, go ahead and say it. If you want some more time to think, you have until we are done. So, <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. yeah. So, Ross, let's go. Uh, I am Ralph Dog Jones. Uh, living on the streets. He's, he's keeping it real. Uh, his monster would be Mr. Whispers, who is really a swarm of rats. Giant, giant rats. Okay. Um, so, I figure he probably hasn't been there very long because uh, not really much of a family situation there. Not really. Kind of one of those things. One of those kids that falls between the cracks and then falls through the second set of cracks. Just, there's a lot of falling. Yes. <laughs> and some cracks. And, and cracks, yeah. And cracks. Um, social fabric disintegrating, etc. Rich tapestry um, <laughs> of social decay. Uh, so I figured he'd either be a general member or a gopher. Okay. Um, something like that. Something low level. He, would clear, he wouldn't be a leader, a leader or lieutenant or anything. He's just like, want, wants to get out. Doesn't, you know. Okay. Distrust institutions. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Aaron, I'm playing Tommy Mislowski. Um, 
Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Tommy. Tom, Tommy. Uh, I'm not doing it today. So there's no bounce to cancel. I'm not doing it. Uh, but no, I, as a description on the breach end, he is a moody kid. Fits in perfectly with the setting. So uh, his dad, father left early. His It's only his mother and his sister, which probably relegates to the, uh, his behavior, putting him in here in the first place. Mm-hmm. Uh to him, since he's kind of a loner otherwise, and yeah, rather quad, I think he's just going to be a general follower and not okay. and not really relegating himself to any kind of leadership position. Okay. Just rather being left He could be a good scapegoat. He's not going to be that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may not select it mechanically. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. <laughs> if only somebody is, you know, broadcasting their move. More often than not, very few kids actually elect to be the scapegoat. <laughs> Here. Like, the ones that elect to be the scapegoat are the ones that crave attention for the sake of having attention. Oh, I'm... <laughs> so... But I'm just talking mechanically, yeah. just speaking. There you go. They will not... Some have scapegoatness thrust upon them. <laughs> yes. Only to keep it up, and some people might have it thrust back upon themselves. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, I'm Anne. I'm playing as Lucy Awe, who was born in Hawaii um, and moved to the States. She doesn't really fit in here. Um, everyone thinks she's kind of weird. Her monster is Amakua, a megalodon-like shark, who is actually a shark god, not just a regular shark. And he can swim through the air, too, which is pretty awesome. Yes, and any size body of water, even a teardrop. Shark! I swim in the sea of your sorrows. <laughs> okay, right. moving on. This is Bill, and I'm playing Daniel Jackstone. And this is all just a big mistake. Just a big misunderstanding. Um, I don't really belong here. I was just required by the court. Uh, I didn't really do it. It was those other kids. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh So let's all just get along. And uh, here soon, I'll be gone. You won't have to worry about me anymore. Okay? Okay. Okay. And your monster. Uh, Yeah. Snake tongue. (laughs) Never mind me. It's a snake. It's a snake. Well, that's not good. (laughs) All right. Um, I'm Michelle. I will be Madison Kate Sinclair Stevenson. And I am busy. I have lots of activities. I do um, advanced placement classes. I play in the school jazz band. I play soccer in a competitive private league. I volunteer at a local local homeless shelter, run for student government, uh, take karate, sing in the church choir, and then I also see um, three therapists take four mood-altering drugs and a prescription um, antacid and secretly wish a monster would come and eat my parents. <clears throat> so... You need to be our leader. So really, this I, is okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I might be This might leader. not be your first time here. This might no. be yeah. my first time. This might be, you know, I've had a... Your fifth rodeo. I've had a mental break, and... Uh, okay. Decided well, that's that, why you're going here. This is your yeah. parents have decided that extreme measures have been called. For. Right? They think I love this schedule and busy time and everything, and it's not stressing me out at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Up the Adderall, we're yeah, good here. Totally fine. Um, my monster is Yog so soft, and he's a giant teddy bear um, with a big, a big, lots of teeth and a big giant mouth and. He's kind of creepy in the picture on this book, um, so I'm not going to look at it. So <laughs> just know that that's what he is, and it's fine. He's also got, like, a Care Bear heart, so he does a Care Bear stare. It may or may not be stained with blood. We don't know that. I'm not looking at the picture. Every so heart is stained with fine. blood. <laughs> is it in the, sign, the shape of the dread sign of Azathoth? Not quite. <laughs> no, it actually looks like a heart. It's a Care Bear heart. It's really kind of creepy. I can't watch Care Bears anymore. <laughs> Care Bear Stare. Care Bear Stare. <laughs> Chase the rainbow, motherfucker. Jesus. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna. You can get that in a t shirt, you know. <laughs> Care Bear Stare, motherfucker. Well, yeah. no, this. Oh, this. that right yeah, there? Yeah, that right there. Our, yeah, our dream has those on t shirts, so oh, I'll be wearing that one. Awesome. Anyway. Yeah, I think I might. Uh, I, I could be the leader. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I realize. Sorry, fly trap. So, Bill, were you going to be a con artist? Yes, yes, I am. Awesome. And what about you? What were you thinking? Uh, what was not picked? General oh. member, lieutenant, leader, con honor, scapegoat, and um, gopher. I don't think we have a lieutenant. I, I was all want to do that. Or lieutenant. Or gopher. Or yeah, yeah I think I'll gopher. be gopher. You're gopher. Gopher. So. Okay. I'll be a general member. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So right. Lieutenantless. Hmm. Oh, you just keep it then. Sorry. Nice one. Alrighty. So I need to take a sheet. So let's just go ahead and go through this. Michelle, we're gonna mm-hmm. go through a few roles okay. of you be the therapist. The therapist Super. is essentially going to do a brains plus therapy role against you. Alright. Um <laughs> so wait, they're rolling against her instead of her rolling to defend. Well, that's what it is. Like, what are you okay. going to roll to defend to try to gobble up? Oh, how much? Okay. So it's not as well. Yeah. Uh, I can look at the NPCs. Let's take a look at the NPCs. Hey, mm-hmm. yes. Well, no, I'm trying to look at like what she would, as a kid, would want to try to do. Oh. Well, I guess that's up to you. I've had lots of therapists, Hands plus so I could, what? Hands plus punching. <laughs> I don't think punching the therapist is going to be the smartest thing. Aaron, hands plus punching. <laughs> so I guess probably would punch. Uh, I'm sure they would. Hand plus punching? Eh, it wouldn't work really well for me. I mean, hands plus punching could be a good way that you can just end the session <laughs> by being so aggressive that the therapist cannot keep you under control. Um, um, same would go for guts and wrestling. <laughs> Or feet and kicking. Ooh, I play soccer, so that would be great. <laughs> yeah. uh, other options, you could do guts plus courage. You're just going to stand up and you know options. that your monster is real and that no, it doesn't matter what this fancy man in his very mm-hmm. fancy suit says. You, you, mm-hmm. are, you know that you are correct. Um, you could do brains plus out think if you think you can just try to dance a logic loop around the therapist. You know, both your mm. right over there. But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> what, what, what about that? What? what? Yeah. Why? Uh, on any of the face skills also work if you can kind of spin the pitch the correct way. Mm. Now keep in mind you're going to have to do this three times. Okay. And same each way. If or you different go ways? the same, you can do the same role each okay. time, but you need to come up with a different tactic, or he's going to get an extra die against you. Oh. 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 All right. All right. All right. He's <laughs> <laughs> got wise to your shenanigans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do kicking. Kick him in the knee. Kick okay. him in the arm. Kick him in the crotch. Is that probably not? Well, well, <laughs> that's fine. No, no, I don't. I just want to kick. I think I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> Well, let's start with uh, let's start with some charm. face plus charm. Okay. All right. So how many? Oh, it's face roll. Um, what's your face value? Three. And what charm you, is plus two. So you roll a total of five dice. Okay. Nine, ten, ten, eight. Shit. <clears throat> I'm supposed to get matches, right? Mm-hmm. And if I didn't get any matches, uh, <laughs> then you don't have any way to gobble up his attack. Uh, well, uh, I couldn't charm him with my pretty face, which nope. is probably good since I'm so, what, like eight. Yep. So, so you, <laughs> your relationship with your monster has gotten damaged by one. Okay. Because he only got one set. Okay. Um. Uh, let's try. Let's try. To, we're gonna try to outthink him. Okay. All right. So. My monster's real because you can't prove it's real. Don't exist. Exactly, mm-hmm. that's right. You can't prove a name. I remember. Resolved. Jesus. Can she use relationships? To her? Yes, you can right. use her other. You can use your other relationships to give yourself bonus to the dice pool. But if you fail, you damage that relationship as well. So, uh, um, so with Madison. Yeah. So, like my tutor, or my coach, or my parents. Yeah, you could okay. think back of like how your tutor. Yeah. Uh, or your parents argue with each other, and you're like, "Oh, I can use that same bit," you know? Right. Why you buy me anything pretty anymore? Then, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, that my tutor says I'm just so brilliant that uh, I couldn't possibly be wrong about anything. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> so I get two more. So let's see if any of those match. Do you see that? Sevens. Ooh, I got three sevens. Mm-hmm. Boom. Boosh. I win, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Except he got a pair of nines. 
Well, I got three sevens. Three is better. So, <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you don't have to make poker? it like no. the same height in order to gobble them up. That's right. up to you. Mm. So, okay, so the second time you manage to get through. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> but there's one more. Pandering. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, um, yeah, we're going to kick. <clears throat> Okay, so the last I this time you just fed up with Yeah, it. I'm just like, will you stop asking me this stupid question? I'm just going to kick you in the face. Except probably not reach the face. Oh, threes. So many fucks. Um, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Woohoo! Kicking worked! Yeah, kicks. You shut the session down before you can start to ask the serious question. Sweet. Alrighty. Oh, when you were saying the session, I thought you meant the game. Yeah. <laughs> layers upon layers. Layers upon layers. <laughs> a rich tapestry. Okay, <laughs> Bill, you're up next. Alright, I only have to make one, right? Yep. Con artist? Uh huh. Face plus charm. I am telling him exactly what he wants to hear. Okay. Secret that lies. Secret that lies. <laughs> I've got fours to gobble. He got three sixes. So nothing. I eat two That's of them. evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're fine. Uh, oh, Ross, you're simple. a gopher, so you got a one roll against the third. Uh, guess what's courage? I'll just stoically listen and kind of agree, but not really. He doesn't know what it's like out in the street. <laughs> Keep it real, Ross. I am. Um, uh, let's see here. I got three fours. And you're fine. Yay. Okay. Alrighty, so your guys' positions within the group are pretty well established. So, Madison is your leader. She is the one that you know that if she, well, that probably is because she's been in and out of these types of scenarios before. She knows exactly what to say, exactly what to do. Yeah. Um, and Daniel is your con artist. He's the guy that you want to talk to if the if we need staff to act or behave a certain way. Mm-hmm. And Madison, you you've got dog. He's your gopher. He's what? your dog. Yep. Let me yeah. get us some smokes. I could really use some on the inside. I got, I got a sweet lead on some candy cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, e-cigarettes for some reason. <laughs> got vapors, got a vape. Yep. yep. Alrighty. So that's where you guys have. That's pretty much sums up the last three months of your guys' treatment. Um, those of you that are just followers, you just got here. You haven't had time to establish yourselves yet. Fish. Wait, no. <laughs> Wrong show, right? What? Wrong show. Wrong show, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go to your monsters. So for anywhere between one to three slash four months, your monsters have been without their kids. And you have no, you finally figured out where they are. And you manage to show up there, and it feels weird. Where are? Where have they been? Mm-hmm. They are in this very clean, very white building that's in at the end of this very long road in the middle of this very large wooded area. Is this still on the institute grounds? This is the institute grounds. Okay. What does it feel like though when we approach it? <laughs> kind of like you're walking through a haze. Do we hear a string quartet playing in a minor key as we make our way towards the building? Maybe. (laughs) It's there until you actually try to listen for it. (laughs) No, we're on PBS! (laughs) Is there a scratched out sign that says Silent Hill? (laughs) No. Um, So... You guys all pretty much come up to the building and yeah. come up to the grounds at the same time. And so you're monsters. You guys see each other. You are monsters. You know exactly what the other people, what the other monsters are. And so have at. 
Uh, so wait, are we the monsters now, or are the kids? You are the monsters. Okay, and we're inside the building. You are on the you are the on the edge of the grounds. Okay, like you, it's taking you this long to figure. Like normally, your bond with your monster allows you to know right. The monster the bond between monster and kids allows them to know where each other are at all mm-hmm. times and how they're feeling. That's the part that's weird. You know your kid's alive. You know your kid is healthy. You just can't feel anything else. Okay. Um, so we're with the other monsters, and we're trying to get to the kids, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're... Do we actually see the kids yet? Or are we inside the building? Or we You're not them? inside the building. You okay. guys are on the edge of the ground. So, so, and we only know that they're in the building. We don't have any sense You know of, that they're oh. somewhere on the property. Okay. okay. No. Gotcha. All right, well. Yes, yes, yes. They're close. We can feel them, yes. <laughs> yes. We shall soon be reunited. There shall be such feasting and burning. Burn those. Uh, like we did the night they took him away. Mm-hmm. Yes. Monsters. Oh, scary. <laughs> 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 I am. Well, Mr. Whispers is a swarm of giant red eyed rats, so my voice is a chorus of tiny rat whispers. So uh, valid. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> so all the yeses now just come from different places. Yes, of course. Places yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I will send a rat forward to uh, test the defenses, the perimeter. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. there has to, mm, well, that's, if it's any, like any other building, they have to have potted plants in there somewhere. Is anyone supposed to talk like a gangster? So, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have some potted plants in oh, there somewhere, yeah. see? Fine. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what, this is my interpretation of it. I don't have to go, I don't have, you're not going to constrain me to the rules of the pre-gen, Okay. <laughs> This is why, in, uh, like, this is why when I was playing the, the NPC the first time around, he was a Texan, not from Britain. Yeah, I have no idea. This point, anyway, that Aaron self-selected into the scapegoat class. <laughs> yeah. That's not. That's not. Well, this is a monster. He's, he's Any case, yeah, but uh, you know, there. Uh, that's like fancy place like this. You have some potted plants. I may be able to get through there. All right. Um. Does my scout rat get through? Do you, do you have any useful functions? Uh, rats. Uh, location one through three. Ten dice. Useful. Sneak and hide, even from other monsters. Um, more rats. Uh, know a lot of secrets and can find out more. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hundreds of fangs and claws. Useful. Gnawing things up. Uh, Manny voices, useful, drive people mad with whispering from the shadows. And knowing noses, useful, scrounge useful stuff from trash. Those are my usefuls. Okay. Hey, cool rat. Yes, I. Yes. So. You one, give one rat pops up with sunglasses. So. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no. Intentional. So, since I have, um, since I can uh, get through most, that's like anything as long as it has dirt. Loan me one. That's like loan me one of you, and I can uh, sneak you up there since I have fractal roots, uh, uh, useful transport people and stuff. Well, which was so? What are we rolling? Well, first of, let me try what, what my scout rat is doing. Okay. Um, your scout rat reports a lot of bones. Ooh. Um, let's see here. I will t- bring him, have him grab some bones and bring it back. And so we can sniff them out and figure out what, what, what these bones are of and how they died. Because okay. uh, I have more rats. Useful. Know a lot of secrets. You can find out more. Mm. Okay. So, um, make your wall. Do, 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 do. That is ten dollars. Parliament of Rats is now in session. Back to the committee. <laughs> the precursor to FUPA. <laughs> um, three sevens. There's a lot of bones. Um, you find a set of bones that belong. Well, it's not really bones. More like a massive snake skin and a pair of glasses that have been fused to the snake. The sunglasses that have been fused to the snake skin. Uh, <sighs> You also find um, tattered fragments of what seems to be like old children's clothes, but they're also they're almost translucent. 
Um, you find random bits and bones for a bunch of other different types of creatures and undiscernible types. Um, and some, and you can start to determine that some of these look like they've just been ripped apart. You're not quite sure with what, but they had a really strong grip in order to rip some of these things apart. And that's when that unsinking, that unsettling sinking feeling starts to take over. That these are also monsters. Okay. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's less than good. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking we shouldn't go through. Soil's bad here, boss. Yes. Yeah. So um, we're going to have to find another way. Um, we well so wait. The, what's, what's eating us though? You know, besides us. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps yeah. Because it's a miracle we haven't turned on each other at this point. <laughs> yeah. During like five so minutes. I know. So yeah, no. Well, I'm right. assuming you're a meat eater. <laughs> she could probably. You know, you know, you know it's like see, I pull up all my roots. See, no meat on this one. <laughs> well, except for the meat vine, but nobody knows about that. Yeah. You know. um, meat for the meat vine. Yes. <laughs> blood for the blood. Instead drop. of directly charging at the thing that we want, maybe we should try and. Look for another way. Yeah, uh, well, it's kind of a weird thing. Strategy I've heard so much about. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we could wait because um, can we see like the? Is there like a parking lot nearby? Uh-huh. Okay. So the adults who are obviously the imprisoning our kids uh, for the the crime of burning, th- setting things on fire. Whatever. It's yeah. Still a crime. It's uh, cool. We were fighting evil cultists. Like they, you know, I mean, like you obviously. Did. Yeah. Um, we uh, could follow one of the adults back home and see what secrets he knows. Or we could each follow an adult back home. We could sneak into their cars uh, or wait for their cars to leave the grounds and then tail each one uh, and find out what secrets they have and drive them mad as they sleep. Uh, but maybe, yeah. yeah, but there might be a problem with that because uh, there, there might be G-Men following him. Uh, well, we can help G Man. I mean, it just seems that they have some sort of trap here. They probably assume all monsters just go straight as soon as they find the kids, go straight, make a beeline for them, uh, and then you know fall into whatever insidious trap they have. Mm-hmm. So, but I, one thing I could do is if we could we could consume one of them at night, and then I could I could fill their clothes up with rats and then poses them, <laughs> leave the skin I'm of the face. Certain no one would notice. Well, we could. You could. I you, think it's just dreams, so then yeah. we know how he or she would normally act. Exactly. Yes. That's a good one. I, I, I'm better with that than the rat. And yeah, you could be the head because you can <laughs> talk to them. And I could uh, drip poison into their morning coffee to make them act out of character. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, but that takes all the meat. Um, but maybe we should, instead of like finding the random point, maybe focus on who is the most important looking, uh, or who are the direct the bosses. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we wait until the bald guy leaves. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I can I can be I can be somewhat inconspicuous because again, I'm pretty sure there are potted plants in there. So uh, let me give a chance. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to use my fractal roots. It's your leaves, use, not mine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that to pop up into the other potted plants. And see if I could look uh, look in the other offices or possibly see where the kids are. Give me some more. You pop up in. Oh, I don't need to roll for that. No. Okay. So you pop up in an office. Ugh. Oh, what the hell and is there this? Are people working. Rocks. You bastards. <laughs> there are people working, and this you catch the tail end of the conversation of. Uh, yes, that's what we believe. Uh, yes, uh, I fully trust you to handle it quietly. Thank you. And then I hang up. So, do I see a name on uh, a, a nameplate anywhere? Uh, you are actually in the um, general office, kind of like the business office, where people are pushing paperwork, maintaining file cabinets, etc. See Miss Jones, Miss Babbage's. Right. <laughs> the nurse's station is down the hall. There's a monster far worse down there. And you pretty much get the feeling that this is where the potted plants are because this is probably the one spot on the campus where the children don't go in very often. And so this is where the least likely spot of potted plant would turn into a potted mess. <laughs> or potted food. Yeah. But I was like, okay. 
So, Mrs. Jones, but... So... Sorry, trying to look at this in the perspective of the monster and not that, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, found something. So, tunnel, I tunnel that out and I'll pop back up. Uh, found a bunch of pe- uh, Found a bunch of the uh, adults up there. Uh, the goons seem to be talking about something that something's been about to be taken care of. Don't know what. Mm. I'd give you some of the information on the uh, on the paperwork, but uh, I, I don't read so well. And the, well. I don't read so well as long as it's not you know piled in roots. It's and around this time that you that those of you that have that are sensitive to what's going on on the ground, you feel the rumbling of a large vehicle coming towards the grounds. Uh, I would look in that direction. What kind of vehicle is it? It is a black van. Ooh. See if I can pop up some wheat. Tinted windows. Okay. Wizard? No wizard. <laughs> there's a... It looks like... It almost has that news van appearance where there's a large antenna that's just kind of folded down on top of it. But it's otherwise indistinguishable black. Mm. These swarm of rats will dissipate into the grounds, uh, basically using the sneak and hide even from other monsters, uh, okay. and scurrying towards them uh, using the grass and ground for cover. All right. so, and disseminating into the ground to look more like weeds. So. Okay. I'm a snake. <laughs> I'm a giant teddy bear. I really don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, I guess I, run it like I think I'm gonna swim and cover into the trees. Yeah, swim through the air. Into the teddy bear wands. I turn back into you know a regular sized teddy bear. Um, swims through the air. So I guess I just fall on the ground <laughs> and look like a discarded toy. Okay, nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got four eights. I am the knight. Oh yeah. So I'll... yeah, if you're trying to hide, oh, I need yeah. a roll. Oh. How you're trying to hide? Uh. I'll use the fractal roots to get it. Like they always have a way to a default way to hide, but yeah. some, there are abilities that allow them to hide from, even from other monsters. Yeah, yeah. So uh, two tens, which I assume would also work in other supernatural things. Mm-hmm. So okay. actually, I would ask: Would, would I recognize I this as the G-Men? Here. So I guess that would be that one. Yeah, pretty much. Has Flytrap Joe had encounters with the G-Men before? <laughs> so, well, you know what I'm referring to in that. So, but I'm. So I just. I just the first number. Yeah, I would say that would be up to you yes. since I don't know and that and the kid. Hello. Uh, hi. No. Okay. Got three nines. I just heard of them. That works. So. Four. Four nines. Wow. Holy crap. So very hidden. I'm hitting on a little dew drop on a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Really pr- you're, you're creating like the most adorable megalodon that ever existed. So can, you know, I'm huge, but small. <laughs> Great rippling coils, useful to crawl and slither. Okay. I'm going to crawl and slither into a hiding place. Okay. And then be a smaller snake, because yes. Because, because snakes. Uh, eights, three sevens. Okay. Really gonna hide for with. I have I have nothing that makes me good at hiding. Okay. So I am literally just a teddy bear laying on the ground out in the open. Okay. Dory, so, you can be the bait. Yeah, so I'm totally the bait right now. This is all part of my master plan. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll or you could just don't, shamble don't, away. I could shamble. Mip, 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 mip. Actually, how many dice is your shamble really? Uh, eight. eight. I think that means you can shamble at like 150 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> it just says sh- quite fast. Yeah, that's so. quite fast. So there's, there's actually, Especially for shambling. There's <laughs> actually a list of like how many, if at this many dice you go this fast or you oh, pick wow. up this much weight. So like at the eight dice you're going really fast. <laughs> so, that's awesome. So you could just go try to be faster than they can proceed. No, I think I have a plan now. So I'm just going to lay on the ground. Uh, see me, so you can be fast and furious? No. no. That's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what a day! What a lovely day! I'm gonna, gonna make a, I'm gonna make a pitcher of snake juice. Nice. If you haven't had it before, it's pretty amazing. Is how how, how drunk are we gonna get from that? It 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 features Midori. I'm in. Nice. <laughs> All right. Who pops up? Uh, men in black suits, black sunglasses, uniform haircuts. And as soon as one walks by the teddy bear, his cell phone starts to warble and garble as a canary in a coal mine. Okay. And uh, then at that sound, they all draw their weapons. Okay. Yep. Um, How many perfect. Are there, three or two? 
Five. Five. Four that are out, one that's standing by the that just got out and is standing by the van. All right. Well, I can exhale sleeping dust out of my vertical maw that uh, can is also um, useful to uh, knock out crowds of people. So okay. I'm gonna probably take out five. All right. Sleepy dust. Um, How many dice is it? Eight. Do you have awesome times two on it? We have gnarly times two. That just means it does more damage. Okay. So just eight dice. Which is not a lot of useful device for attacks only. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you, essentially you're trying to attack them to make Yeah, basically. Because they're like... Pretty useful. <laughs> what the hell? It's a teddy bear. And I'm like, no, I'm not, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a teddy bear. Sleep! Ignore me! <laughs> There's one costume I still want to really do one of these years. Neat still. Right. Two nines and two eights. No, that's the eights. only thing I don't like about it. Okay. Um. That's seven. No, that's the one. Okay. Nope. Uh, no, they did not do any. That yeah, they're they're as a group they failed. So they're just... Uh, they're sleepy. Ha, ha, the ha. one that's at the van realizes what's going on, and he slaps around at his phone for a little bit, and, like, a call is going off. But. Uh, as he's doing that, uh, hundreds of rats swarm over and start gnawing. Actually, no, they start whispering into his ear. Um, you're not really here. You're merely a mental patient. You're not a member of a government conspiracy. There's no such thing as a government conspiracy. <laughs> you're an accountant who's lost his mind because his mortgage is underwater and his family hates him. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your family hate you, Steve? Why is it? Is it because you always work all the time and you never pay attention to them? Susie was number one in uh, the cheerleading team, but did you pay attention? No! It's all about work for you, Steve. Uh, let's see here. I have awesome times, too, so I'll make that two sixes. Okay. Yeah. Like, he just starts babbling incoherently into the phone. Yeah. Um, and you... Well, I assume that's well, not going to set off anything. Oh. I was like, yeah. shit, going through. Start to, uh, I will go ahead and lasso him with strangling vines. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have not eaten in a while, so uh, it's time to sleep with the begonias. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why our kids are in a mental institution, right? <laughs> Pretty, Pretty much. much. <laughs> Pretty, much. <laughs> Pretty much, because you guys kept doing this kind of shit. <laughs> and eventually the excuses ran dry. <laughs> Yeah, we're at like what, two stars right now. You're gonna go, yeah. pump it up to five stars. Tell me, how somebody can stop me too. On. Somebody can stop me too when I'm grabbing him. So yeah. hey, he's unconscious and babbling like an incoherent baby. So uh, uh, not... babbling while unconscious? That's kind of impressive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, as Good I... job, Ross. <laughs> so yeah, so he's going into my mouth. Hey, so, no, spit him out! Spit him out! That was fine workmanship. <laughs> spit out the cell phone. Ah. <laughs> uh, that, that's what you needed to use, right, boss? Look, it's been a while for me, and so, unfortunately, horseflies only go so far. And the and you hear on the other end of the phone, it's like, Agent Gray, Agent Gray, do, um, do, we, have a, do we have contact? Has a contact been sighted? Um, Fork tongue. Useful, lie with perfection. <laughs> oh, yes! Yay. Uh, two tens, because awesome times two. Uh-huh. Uh, Agent Gray is speaking. It was a false alarm. Okay. The Institute said that there are contacts available. And they just called one in. Are we sure? Do what? The, the, the Institute just called in a contact. Said the contacts were live. We haven't seen anything yet. We're keeping a lookout. Okay. Standard fine, surveillance sir. procedure. How are then. you? Established <laughs> <laughs> standard pr- surveillance procedure. Understood. Uh, as normal operating procedures, wait until treatment is complete before trying to apprehend. Understood. We can't have another Omaha. Damn straight. <laughs> that time at 69. What happened in Omaha? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that before apprehending? What, what did that do? 
wait for the treatment to be completed. Wait for the treatment. Okay, treatment. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're trying to sever our ties. Yes, yes, it makes all sense. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do if I was them, but not. I'm a swarm of rats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you for elucidating. <laughs> kind of needs them. That's been the issue. Remember? Yeah. Yes. Does he really I... need you? You. Just because you're a plant, you think uh, the lives of these humans have no value? No, I have the, the value. They're delicious, by the way. Yes, no, that's why they're in trouble, because you keep making them disappear. <laughs> I they keep coming before well, well, they have names. Started well, no, I, 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 you know, I, I haven't seen one, I've only heard them, but I'm pretty sure these are the G-Men. Even though I haven't seen them before, I'm pretty sure this is one. How do you it's, see them? Oh. They taste pretty good. Yeah. A little stringy, you know. But. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going for seconds. <laughs> The hundreds of rats start swarming over them and start picking their pockets uh, and picking all their shit. <laughs> Most oh, we, we might need ID. Oh, should, you're right. We might need ID. We should interrogate you inside the van. Uh, so, uh, like, they lift it up by a carpet of rats and put into the van for interrogation. <laughs> all right. So that's enough with the monster scene. You guys have neutralized the first squad of G-Men. We'll yes. see if it's the last squad of G-Men, depending on the next time the monsters show Spoilers. up. Spoilers. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, we ask them for no. We wake them up, interrogate, find out what the protocols all, and uh, have them keep calling in. Uh, it, it's, so, so what? We're paging for the guards. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there's four. We got four pages. Uh, <laughs> we got four pages. We're we're only down to three, so we're yeah. good. We're still good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're making progress. Speaking of making progress, <laughs> um, back inside the facility, it is sloppy tuna salad Joe Day. Um, With the side nacho okay. rancid cheese. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, government. All right. I'm probably, actually, Ralph is probably fine with this. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. Likes food so. <laughs> that has been cooked. When my mom was talking about doing fusion <laughs> cooking, I don't think this is what she meant. Yeah, this is. It's been cooked today. What are you complaining about? Well, no, uh, just uh, it's not the man. I actually meant to cook it. It wasn't like put on fire. And this fish is ridiculous. It out of the they had these ingredients that could have made wonderful, amazing, amazing five star cooking, and they just didn't do it. And they're just lazy. And I could have cooked they a better meal. They started with canned tuna. Sure thing, boss. Whatever you, you say. Well, <laughs> have you ever seen that episode of Mash? You can get somebody who can make amazing stuff out of junk. Exactly. Yeah. It can happen. What's a Mash? What? It's well, besides what we're eating, so right. Yeah. No. No, that's hash. Um, tuna. F- yeah, tuna fish hash. It's great. So yeah, you guys are in the uh, dining room. Is a rather loose term. It's more like a cafeteria that they're trying to make look nice and more presentable and more homey that can accommodate thirty children. And enough adults to supervise adequately. I put those posters up. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why does it show the building burning? What? That's not me. That was the other view. You see, they're they're pranking us. I'll get that up. It's those kids. Those kids that are all different colors and ages, but holding books up, and you know, they're all each wearing just plain shirts. Like, hey, reading is great. Those are my. Mm. Those are the ones I found. <laughs> under the cooler. Under the heater. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry for your <laughs> Tommy? Yeah. Yes. What's your notices? Notices. Oh, um. Uh, zero, so it would just be a base three roll for me. Yeah. Do, do give me a brains roll. Can do. And dog, you as well. Uh, two threes. Yeah. Two nines. And three nines. The dog, you could swear you heard Mr. Whispers going on about something. Oh, he's feeding someone the Steve story again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a half a dozen people in my neighborhood who think they're Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and by neighborhood, you mean the rail yard where you used to hang out with the hobos? It's still a community! <laughs> And Aaron, your ears perk up at the mention of while well, Mrs. Jones is uh, wandering through the cafeteria, um, you hear her complaining that somebody knocked over her plant. Your ears catch that. So, I'm going to go to the window and look outside. Okay. Do I see anything? Do you see the normal um, afternoon fog? 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Which all looks awful, looks an awful lot like the evening fog. Okay. Um, the I meant to ask fog. What, in the morning fog. What and time? kind of noonish fog? Yeah, that yeah. too. Uh, what time of year is it, by the way? Fall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. Is like the longer you, like, even though you haven't been here that long, you just know that it's been a while. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> So I don't actually. It's like you remember it being summer, but you see that people are leaving in heavy coats. Are, is it like really cold outside? Have we been allowed outside? Uh, you've been cold? allowed outside. Like this is like the outside. A, You've been allowed. Like, yeah. Get back in. Um, it's, I'll, I'm, it's like a uh, climate so control I'll pretend to go ahead and, type of outside. I'm going to go ahead and pretend to drop my uh, uh, fork. Okay. And while I'm picking it up, just kind of gives a quick smell to see if... Because any time where Joe's been around someplace, if he's extended his tendrils, there's kind of a faint odor of peat moss. So, Okay. <laughs> am I smelling that? So or? you say it, he smells like scotch. <laughs> I'm sniffing the yeah. seats again. <laughs> yeah, bar. actually one of the other kids starts yelling that. Tommy's sniffing people's butts again. You're a real fart smeller. <laughs> <laughs> just ignoring it. So... Uh, and actually, is no. there condensation on the windows? Like something like like it like? No. Nope. Okay. So, but I don't smell that on the floor. <laughs> you I try. You do right. smell that. Besides, okay. even if you did, the staff would wipe it off. Like <laughs> yeah. post haste. Well, they, if they knew about it, they noticed. They could be negligent. Okay, if he's here, I might get a, if I get right, a handful like, of dirt. Yeah. Dicks drawn on the windows are a great way for the million. I'm not gonna draw. Long. Why did you go straight there? I mean, just because of <laughs> experience. Well, yeah, experience. <laughs> I was gonna draw a rat, which probably would have looked like that. <laughs> but it wasn't my intent. Anyway, uh, okay. Sorry. What are you doing? I've already picked it up and I've confirmed. So. Okay. Uh. Actually, uh, now yeah, Tommy, okay. one of the staff has come to you, and it's, um, are you smelling butts again? <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't mention that. Um, I just dropped my fork, Mister Phil. Yeah, that's okay, Tommy. Yeah, I'm okay. So, just, yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, Mister Hornet says it's time for your individual session. Oh, um, okay. So. Uh, another brain snow is just to see him. he's acting. How? how uh, and it's only been like, like a couple weeks we've been here, correct? And it's so, a couple weeks at YouTube. Yeah, I was like, yeah, for me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it feels a lot longer. But um, but I've gotten at least a little bit of a handle on most of the staff. Mm -hmm. So notice to see how Mr. Phil's acting and two fives. Mr. Phil's acting like Mr. Phil. He he is here. He is used to you guys not being inside so much and he also has to show proper table manners and eat the sloppy tuna joe salad sandwiches with you guys and so he's a little nonplussed um, no, no problem are the windows like locked and can't possibly open or can I possibly slip a piece of paper through one they are locked you cannot open them they have a like you've seen one kid try to break a window they have like this film coated over them so that when they do break they don't shatter right. it's like safety impact glass. safety yeah. glass so. would it be are they so like would it like my idea is like slip a piece of paper out that would have information that whispers, whispers could find useful like my room number or something is it possible for me to do that uh, you could just leave it in the trash uh, oh yeah no it's good trash okay I will uh Steve the accountant is in room 102. <laughs> uh, which is my room. So that will be the right. shared code. Um, anybody else want to do anything during lunchtime before Tommy gets taken back for individual therapy? Mm. It's prison rules. You guys start fight so that you're not, you know, for yeah. your dominance. <laughs> well, only the fresh fish. Yeah. Sure. I'm fine. We've been here. Okay. Yeah. So, but I'm going along, so mm -hmm. there's yep. no reason for me. I'm so just waiting on my minions to bring me my. Um, like although, have I actually already talked to the therapist before? You've met with the therapist a couple times. Um, and just for the sake of another role, another role. Remember, uh, brain plus remember to see if there actually is a pot of plants or something uh, in the office, which I get three sevens. There's a plastic plant. Plastic. Sorry. Um. 
I might be able to suffice with that. Okay. Um, plans of plans of plans. And so, yeah, you go into his office and you sit down and he was like, okay, Tommy, let's we spend some time getting to know each other and I really want you to feel, I feel like that we're getting along great. Um, okay. I, I, I want you to talk to me about the night that Mr. Stevenson got hurt. Mr. Stevenson is the man who was found strangled outside of your house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, that. I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Maybe Fly Trap Joe and uh, Tommy should be in here. Maybe this is for the best. <laughs> or your kind of body Mr. count of Stevenson that we know about. <laughs> also <laughs> taking... An accountant. <laughs> no, no, that's just Steve. Steve Stevens. <laughs> he was taking a very, like, the reason why he fly trapped Joe reacted so strongly to him was because he was actually taking an unhealthy interest in you and why the plants around you always seemed to be doing things. And he kept, because he was the biology teacher, and he kept taking samples of things. And he started trying to take samples of Joe, and that was just a bridge too far. So, uh, but this is keeping of that, uh, but I'm saying, um, no, I don't know why he was, well, honestly, I don't know. He was my teacher, biology. Um, I thought he was an okay teacher. I didn't really do it. I didn't know what he was doing outside my house. So, but he, that's like, I heard, that's like, I had heard he was kind of the, that's like being mean to a couple other people that I knew knew on the outside, but other than that, I don't really know that much. Your parents say that he was that he had offered to come and give you some extra tutoring because you'd failed your last test. So Tommy, are you angry about the fact that you're struggling in biology? No, I'm I understand that my have failings, I need to work on stuff, but I that's but other than that. I didn't but really he, take it, but... You shouldn't have failed. I mean, you know, clearly he was just rigging the test so you'd fail so that you could have a justification for coming there. Spending more time with you. Yeah, exactly. But... Uh, to be with we're the voices in this head now. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, I don't... But I don't really see this is... That's like why... I don't really see why this is so much of it. So, although uh, brains out think... Okay. Why are you? Uh, like asked. Why are you so interested in that, sir? Because <laughs> it's a murder investigation, <laughs> and he's your therapist. <laughs> Just I'm uh, using it to pry more information out of him, and I got two fives. Well, Tommy, as you know, your family is very concerned about these aggressive outbursts that you've had, and lots of people tend to be hurt around you, and. There aren't really... You, you're not giving good reasons. The best that you've been giving is a I don't know. I did not murder him. <laughs> and eventually, when someone that's been... When a lot of people get hurt around someone, and the best they can say is, I don't know. It's very concerning for me about whether or not you can handle your anger. Well, I won't deny that I get angry when people were picking on my sister. That's... That that's like that's completely justified. So Mr. Stevenson was picking on your sister. Mr. Stevenson had nothing to do with my sister. I tell I keep telling you I have no idea why he was around my house. Okay. He wasn't even supposed to be there for the tutoring. I talked to my mom about that. She said we'd find somebody else to do that. There was a, another service that that's like that she was going to go to to find a tutor for that, but I wasn't even. That's like, I wasn't even taking care of that. And I'll go ahead and pull up Face and Connive okay. to go ahead and straight line. She doesn't even like him. Secrets and lies. So, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. And I got two twos out of that. So, he wants to defend. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, he took scoffle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured he was, but that's fine. So. Um, call me on your BS there, Tim. Yeah, he just pretty much called you out on it. It's just, 
No, your your mother was very concerned about your grade as, as well, and that's why your teacher was there. Your mother has actually been asking you around. Um, He's going to be your new daddy. No. <laughs> well, he was. Which didn't help well, because his dad's out of the picture. Yes. So. <laughs> Convenient. Essentially, he's going to keep putting the pressure on you until you until you react to the fact that he wants an explanation as to how he got hurt. And you were there. You need to have an explanation. So. Like, that's like... We can role play and go back and forth on that all we want, but we're not going to spend a forty-minute therapy session. Oh God, no! I don't want to either. So, <laughs> but that's the basic gist as to what he's. So, what happens to. if he doesn't provide the uh, explanation? So that's yeah, because I was saying though, what uh, if is there a specific time limit to me? That if if I'm going to resist and then something else happens to me, well, or... then is uh, in monsters, kids can be hurt in any location, and they take damage to their stats. Yeah. So you could just have the therapist roll a social attack until I'm and out of the hurts game. So. Them in whatever way, so like they feel bad, so it hurts their they, they can't think straight. They, they hurt me mind. in my face. Um, or you can yeah. straight out attack relationships too and try to. Um, so, like, for example, you could say either come up with a story for how it got hurt that you know, mm-hmm. uh, either admit the truth or come up with a really good lie, or he does damage to you. Yeah, so that's what I was... Okay. As, as, as a so, suggestion. If yeah. You, yeah. So, uh, that's how I would do it. So for you have something else seven. in mind, obviously. Well, I do have something in mind, but I need him to actually decide on how he's defending himself against this before I decide what's going to okay. happen. So you can't just keep saying... Uh, okay, no, that's fine. So I mean, I'm, you can say that you can keep saying, but then he'll just cancel his next appointment, and then you'll be out of the next scene with the kids. Okay. So, so I'm just going to go, there. F- yeah, full on defense is going to be face and put down. Look, I understand that my mom's concerned, but it's us like, and that she, that's, and that my behavior outside of this has warranted me being in, that warrants me being in here. But that has nothing to do with that, and I'm not going to have some other two-bit hack telling me other uh, telling me what I'm feeling otherwise. So that'll be an eight roll on him to pretty much put a stop to it. Whee! Okay, so. <laughs> yes. So, and I will. Uh, I would say for this, and I will go ahead and pull out my relationship with my mom. Okay. On this one, that she usually trusts me on this matter, to get one more dice on that. All right, you're actually then going to defend against his brains plus therapy. <laughs> That's fine. So, uh, um, so and six. since he is an adult who is very well trained, he does have awesome times too. That's okay. That's fine. So, all right. Master's degree is awesome times too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, so total I have two nines, two sevens. Actually, he... Did he whiff? <laughs> he did not whiff. Okay. He got four fours. Um, and you can only apply one set to one thing. You can't apply two, so he's going to hit you. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and at least lessen it, though. So Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, because... Yeah, so I'll lessen it to You can't two apply fours. two sets of the same. Yeah, so... So that is, if it's straight damage, that's to the hit location four. And since I use my mom, guts. Uh, yeah, you get guts. this really what you like. You're eventually he just turns on you. Like he's okay. been nice with you for the last few weeks, but he's just gone full bore, like very what, judgmental, judgmental, accusatory, and he just lays it out to you. I know you were involved with him getting hurt. And until you're ready to explain why, you are not going to be going home anytime soon. Do you understand, son? So, at that point, I just get quiet. <laughs> so. Yeah. so you take a point of damage to the guns. Yes, I've already done that. So and I take that damage to my mom, relationship with my mom since I've Oh, yeah, that. you did fail too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. You can save that relationship damage from your mom if you put the blame where it actually belongs. Oh. So you're allowing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, your mother who gave gave you life, food, shelter, <laughs> unconditional love, or an extra dimensional hell monster that eats people. It's really a tough choice, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> no, no guilt tripping around here. No guilt tripping. I, I've just laid your choices out. <laughs> your mother so. or a giant man-eating monster. So it's really hard. I know. <laughs> so taking a look. What, before I do that, though, where is his plastic plant in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Solve your problem by eating. No, not what you think. I'm just cons- I'm asking. Uh, it's in the opposite <laughs> corner of his desk. So, like, you've got... Is it a, a little desk one, or is it, like, a tall one that would be, like, uh, one that would stand it's up? One, it's a floor, floor one. A floor, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, behind him. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. So All the better for eating him from. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so I will go ahead and just make him that fine. So... Uh, no, fine. You want to think that's like he may have been around my house uh, there, but that's the only reason. The only reason what? So that he got hurt when he was coming over to talk to me. What How was did he get hurt? So he seemed to have tripped over. That's uh, uh, like tripped over something. <laughs> Throw your mother under the bus. All right. <laughs> Landed on a garrote. You know, no big deal. Like you so do. So he tripped over something and his neck got hurt. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the neighborhood? It's just a minefield. Oh yes. There was, so, he, like, you he don't have to like, admit it to him. You can you can internally rationalize the blame on to fly a trap. Joe. But that, that's, but that's... And that would save the relationship with your mother. But how many thoughts do you? How many points do you have with your mother? Before? Three. So you had to renounce two. But there, are, there are other ways. I can also actually... you can't use it anymore until you uh, repair it. Repair that. So yeah. So you might have to see a repair of <laughs> reputation. <laughs> so actually, a repair of re- re- relation. So I'll, I'll do that. Basically, Joe got too aggressive. So okay. So I'll, Joe, does, as Joe's relationship not taking damage because of that? Yeah, he right. Joe's relationship will take damage. Okay, that's damage. fine. So. Okay, so you are mentally blaming Joe. Yes. So. Instead of like, all okay. right. That. Damn it, Joe. <laughs> yep. Okay. So at the very least, you realize that Joe is not a good thing for you. All right. So back to yes. sloppy tuna Joe salad. What the rest of you guys are doing while Aaron finishes up his session. Um... You are leaving your note? Yes. Okay. In the trash. Okay. In the trash. So try to sneak it in there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... You're not allowed to have pencils outside of homework. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Can you mastermind a food fight? Uh, no. Would yeah. dodging, feet plus dodging work too? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, then I will do that. Fast hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Or you could just try to... Why don't we see what Dog can come up with on his own first? All right, let's let him go. Uh, He's scrappy, resourceful. Uh, two nines and two eights. I'll do it. Yeah. You snagged a pen from the staff station and yeah. wrote your note and got it back there before anyone was the wiser. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Very nice. All right. It's I'm playing practical experience and skills for <laughs> probably most of my character future life. You know. Alrighty, so now let's go on to group therapy, which always happens after lunch. Yeah, so Aaron, yeah, yeah. you're getting a double dose. Oh. As is billing you want to do. Now you. <laughs> um, now you have two therapists in the room, and they are talking about feelings. One therapist leaves, <laughs> and they're talking about feelings and how we should talk about our feelings. And, one therapist is like they're playing off of each other one is just like well sometimes people like to describe their feelings as another person that takes control over them and makes them do things that they don't want to do and then the therapist partnering with them is like but that's really not the most healthy way to do it etc 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 so essentially you're getting a big old lesson on how you have to take responsibility for your own actions and other people can't be blamed for stuff <laughs> so uh, this, and you all know that this also means some. Uh, this is a direct attack on the relationship against your monsters yeah, as a group. So how are you guys going to defend against this role? 
roll to see if you can withstand the assault or not. Hmm. So what are we rolling now? Trying to... uh, it's whatever. I'm going to use Gus for courage. I'm not. I'm not ashamed. Of, but what well, Mister Whispers and I? We've only done good things. We ain't ate no people or nothing. We were just, you know, looking for day old donuts and finding secrets. Uh, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, Straight out of a boy's adventure novel. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> With a right. swarm of rats. Group therapy is extra difficult because there are two therapists working together. Um, not only it's essentially they each have awesome times too on their collaborative role, so they get to roll two dice up, and then it's gnarly times two is on top of that. Oh, if they get amped. Well, gnarly only applies if they get a set through, yes. so it doesn't count. So they yeah. have three. They just no. have to break the gobble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to do brain plus remember. I uh, remember all the good things that. So uh, yeah, I will use guts plus courage to. Uh, yep, yeah. right. I ain't got nothing to do for it. So, okay. uh, I'm gonna use face plus charm to go ahead and tell them about. That's like yes, that's like you can, but there's also all the good times and the good things that you can pull from that particular relationship. So that you think is destructive. Okay. With uh, the imaginary person that you blame your feelings on. Do we have to match the uh, height too, or just no. get the width? Okay. Um, yeah. Looking for a width to try to go. Okay. Yeah, I got two seven. All right. And two one. I'll do out think to, because I think I know what I'm talking about, and they don't. Yeah. Know what you think. Um, there you go. Two nine. What? Two one. Wow. Um. Two one to me. Face plus put down to uh, ask innocuous, but like... You're trolling them. Yeah, Mm -hmm. trolling questions. I'm trying to get the rest of the kids to laugh. Okay. And like break their rhythm. All right. What if you like sniffing pot? (laughs) (laughs) That's a bit... I would say that's a bit too obvious, but no. Yeah. Given, the, yeah. given the experiences. Like some... One of my friends likes to sniff pots. <laughs> and I whiff. Okay. They rolled three nines. Holy shit. Can yeah. you still add in a relate, throw in a relationship? Oh. Yeah. Actually, I can. Um. Uh, my older brother taught me insults. Okay. <laughs> my older brother triumph. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great point. For me to poop on with threes. Okay. So did anyone get a width wider than three? Or three uh, three or wider? Width uh, is the number of die. But yes. they yes. had a number of matches. No, we only got width two. two. Right? With two. So you guys managed to knock one off, right? No, it's two. Like they like defend it favors the defenders, like you have to get four. Yeah. To be beyond the realms of the basic match gobble. Okay. Yeah, so I like dice eat dice. Yeah, yeah. So two eat two of the three, and now it's no longer a set. Okay. So you guys are all. Yeah. yeah. All right. We have survived three months of this, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're speaking the rest of us. So. Yep. Uh, back to the monsters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So this fog stuff that's around is it like. Can we tell? Is it in a dome shape around the uh, facility? Is it like a wall that we can't get through? It's not really... It doesn't really have a shape. It's just pervasive. Just okay. like when you're Probably on the property, everything. you notice it. Okay. When you wander away... So it's not it's something not... that's harming us while we are we can walk through it. No. It's not It's not a barrier stopping us no. from getting to the building. And it's like, do we feel okay. any differently while walking through it? Or I scuttle more than I walk. You... <laughs> And, and I go through the ground, but <laughs> yeah, we're, still, we're still moving through space. Yeah. Your feet touch the ground, but they don't quite touch anything else on the way to the ground. Like there's a space, so there's an air gap between it almost? No, as in like the debris on the ground, your feet pass through it. Okay. Or, but then once you make contact with ground, the ground is solid. Like it's a holog there's a hologram around us. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Alright. Right, illusion. Um well look, you 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 try and hold them off, keep them yeah, the, the, the men in black. I will I will reconnoiter. You can learn many secrets from the trash. 
Um, <laughs> and yes, yes. Uh, perhaps there are keys. And uh, what time? Uh, actually, do we have an idea of what time of day it is, or is it still basically just kind of like fog. gray overcast? Fog o'clock. Fog o'clock. Fog o'clock. <laughs> Population fog. Yes. Uh, yes. Population fog hat. What's next on the beeb? Um, so yeah, I will. I will sneak up. Uh, and look around the grounds for dumpsters and that kind of thing. Okay. All right. Because uh, I am getting hungry. One of the staff takes out the lunchtime trash. Yeah. And you pick up on something in there. Ooh. And you find the note. <laughs> Two and a hash. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will rush back with it. <laughs> yes. Uh, one hat, rat holding up each corner of the pager. Steve, that's a joke we have because Steve was the insurance salesman. Or the accountant. Yes, he was an accountant. <laughs> he failed his family, became homeless, and we laughed because he always talked to sleep. And so every time I just tell what Steve's. Anyway, you heard. Uh, that's what <laughs> It was good times. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we. Uh, uh, this this means what room he's in. Uh, at least Ralph is. I'm sure your compatriots are nearby. Yes, yes. So we 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 we, we want proof of contact. They're in here. We know it. One of your other rats that was on lookout while yeah. you grabbed the note. Um, now that the excitement of that is over, you thought you saw a large cat. Over by one of the storage sheds. No, oh, we don't like that. Like, <laughs> like we're talking large. Oh cat. no, no, no! We like that even less. Well, like, <laughs> it's like this kind of cat, or and then stretch my vines out. Really, like, this kind of cat. One of those. Yes. <laughs> we have a we have a shark. Yes, I think shark beats tiger cat in uh, uh, that game. Oh, well, they, that they play with their hands. Yes, uh, I think it's rock. Shark, tiger, yes. <laughs> so, um, so uh, I can sneak up ahead. Oh, uh, Mr. Shark God, why don't you please follow me, and we we can uh, maybe perhaps that, or he could be an ally. But I prefer to have you know. Well, we can monster. We can do that. Or if hey, since it's you know misting out here and whatnot, I can go underground, pop up, have that's like Shark God. That's like. Uh, Sharky boy, right on uh, on a dew drop on me because it's you know foggy out. Or can I just ride through the fog? Oh yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Well, I would, yeah. Yeah. I could turn into the mist. Sharks in the mist. So I can try to get a closer look at this cat. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you still want to come to it. Oh yeah, no. I, yeah, I, you probably have bigger teeth in it, so we'll, we will always be nearby. Well, we'll, 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 we'll take together, us so. to the cat. Yes. So uh, it could move, be an ally, it could be an enemy. I'll move through with them as well, so. Um, but I will be scuttling and all right. So, and I'll, so you guys approach the cat. Yeah. I'll just go underneath and kind of pop up around. It's yeah, ambush the cat. That would be good. Anthropomorphized, so okay. it's kind of like a cat man. Okay. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> See a bio mega, or it's <laughs> or Is rather, he like does he look like a thunder cat? No, <laughs> more like a cat that can. Stand upright uh, on okay. its haunches. Like a Disney cat. Like okay. a Disney cat, but okay. it's more of a Disney lion. Like a Doctor Who nurse? Simba? No. no. Oh, yeah. No. No. Like cowardly lion, but closer to no. animal than... Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And it's just kind of slumped there, and it's just with its head back, with this very exasperated look on its face. So... He kind of looks like... You, you, you're Hi. good at talking. Yeah. He is a monster. Well, hello, friend. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Let's talk well, he, he about the feeling. He kind of looks depressed, Pally. <laughs> Let him speak for himself. <laughs> I... He's gone. Who's gone? Locked. My friend. He's gone. Oh. So. Was he in the facility? He went home. So why can't you go to him? Because he left me here. Oh. And you don't know where he is now Not anymore. Oh. So my. he had he he had this he had this stuffed the stuffed lion that he had had since he was a baby, and when he was brought here, they let him bring it, and and he 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 told the man in the office that I'm not real. And even used the doll to show
show him that I'm not real and that I was just a doll. And then he left it here. That's that's a cold, buddy. That's mm. Well, um, I'm sure if you stop and think about it, there's some other child somewhere that could use someone like you. <laughs> I don't know. Michelle, Michelle well, can't even. Well, well, yeah, no, no, most of us have, you know, passed on from kid to kid when they they grow up and they kind of uh, the memories come just dis- become discombobulated about us. Well, that's a line more. Uh, but they have they actually thrown you away? Well, no, I'm a potted plant. Have you ever had one throw you away before? I, I'm gonna no, give but you I had a one plant. hug. Is that okay? <laughs> Can you give you a teddy bear hug? <laughs> He's no, no, uh, but, although I was potted once and then they forgot about me when they moved. In that was depressing, but uh, that was depressing, I, I admit. But uh, and but I'm not trying to equate mine to yours, because... Uh, I, un- I, I don't even see the point anymore. The next time the men come, I don't even know if I'm going to fight them anymore. It's just not worth it. The men oh, in the black van? Yeah, and those ones, ones in the suits? Yeah. I ate and one. telling us uh, about them? It was okay, middling. And they, they show up. Oh. I've seen it happen. I didn't think Locke would do it to me, but I saw it. Saw it happen to Duke. Saw it happen to those kids. Saw it happen to them all. But I just kept saying to myself, Leo, Leo, Locke's not going to do that to you. He's going to stay strong. He's going to stay strong. He's not going to. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And then he went home. And I'm still here. And he didn't even look like Leo anymore. Or he didn't even look like Locke anymore. <laughs> but you know it was him. He didn't look like him. Maybe you made a mistake. It was him. It just didn't look like him. Have you ever imagined that everyone you love has been replaced by an exact duplicate? <laughs> Can't humans molt? Like, uh, don't they? No, no, uh, that's me. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, maybe in like that Pod People movie yeah. that yeah. Tommy showed me. It was a documentary. Uh, <laughs> Well, I can't do that. I we found five people once. <laughs> under the bridge, in the rail rock yard. Hmm. Set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you got issues, Pally. They were not. You, they're not normal people. Are we normal people? No. But that's why we don't. We don't eat the normal people. That's well. The G's aren't supposed to be normal people. They, they, they're they're more normal. I mean, you will know that they're not. It's so, Look, hey, look, this one has a wallet. Look, he has kids. They look depressed. Like, Wait, where'd you get that wallet? I picked their pockets. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that was the word four. You didn't need all five of them. Well, no, no, this is just the one from the suit. Yeah. Keep regurgitating the buttons. Uh, anyways, you need some heavy fiber to move that out. Yeah. Uh, I am fiber. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, is there a way into the building? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have fun with that. If you if you like doing that kind of stuff to yourself, I, what? What do you mean? What kind of stuff? Uh, the, you know what? I, <laughs> yeah, go in the building. See what happens. Yeah. All right. Well, Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Well, 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 <laughs> uh, well for one instance, pal, you, you sound kind of unsure about yourself on that one. Did it, would you just mind regaling us with your tales? Yeah. There's nothing stopping you from going in. Well, it sounds like something well, there's bad some sort happened. Of traps, um, or there's no traps. Uh, it's just uh, finding out if that your your friend has been denouncing you to the Inquisition. Yeah, you pretty much. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Can I try to charm you into telling us what happens? No, that was probably when you found <laughs> out. Is your? Is I'll your, just do it. Oh. Just go. Just go. <laughs> That's maybe we should rethink our approach because of the whole you know that's why they're in the institution in the first place. Well, <laughs> we could all go on the run. We could we could hop the rail. Yes, yes, yes. Well, some, something I was also thinking kids? about because yes. I know yes, they, with the kids. Well, I've seen smaller children ride the rails. Yes, a bunch of them solve mysteries together. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and there are many donuts, old donuts, in the dumpsters near the rail yard. <laughs> Anyway, yes. <laughs> um, we have... No, yes, donuts are delicious. <laughs> well, the place that I came up into, that office, uh, you know, that office, they probably have files in there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, why don't you just drag some files out? So, uh, I, again, I'm not too well on the whole uh, study portion of the test, but uh, you might, we might be able to find some more information on it if you guys can uh, 
you can you read. I can, I'll just grab something. But you realize, though, that they... Because Tommy told me they kept those files on file cabinets, those big metal things, right? They're, all, they're lying to the children, though, because obviously the adults believe we're real. Otherwise, why would, would the G-men be trying to capture us or kill us? G-men want us because they want us, man. Right. right, but they acknowledge, and they make contact with the hospital, with the place. We heard them on the phone. Uh, they were summoned because the hospital detected us. So this is clearly, uh, we must tell them the truth, that they're being, the kids are being lied to. Locke was just broke under pressure because you didn't tell, you didn't sneak in and tell them that this is all a, a setup, a trap to break a, break you apart. Yes, that must have been it. Yes. <laughs> yep, it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing I could have done. Yep. Well, did you talk to him? Didn't you see him inside? Oh, I said plenty. Mm. Well, did they, he actually see it? They must have drugged him. If he did, he didn't tell. He didn't act like it. Hmm. Well, we better hurry then before yes. this thing happens to our kids. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, uh, what is the easiest way inside? Pick a wall, any wall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are there are there doors? Mm-hmm. I like doors. Okay. All right. Um. Are they mystical? Because I have talons that can open mystical doors. I don't know about real doors. <laughs> Your talons go for the Doesn't doors. Say. <laughs> and they just kind of hard go to get through things, the I guess. handle and the door itself as if it's not really there. Damn it. So can the rest of so you go through the doors though door. it's not really there? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. The holiday man. <laughs> or we are. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh, well, they're... Oh, it's like that red dwarf thing. What? He's you know, been top... up too late watching the television. He's uh, obviously melted whatever brains he had. Yes. I don't think plants have brains. We well, have spores. Uh, it's almost worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's why, he, that's why Leo said pick a wall, any wall. We can just walk right in. Uh-huh. So right mm. down. Let's do it. Let's walk right, right in. All right. Okay. You guys walk in and you see your kids. Mm. They just got out of a... They just walked... They're all filing out single file of a room. And there are two adults that are watching. Some of them, one of them is just shaking his head and just... Adults! And just immediately go back into the capsule pod that has a single fuse fly trap. Okay. I will wait until Rob is alone. Okay. Or out of sight with the adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ralph goes over to... You see Ralph kind of swing wide and get out of line to go back into the kitchen area to look at the trash cans and smiles at himself when he sees that they're empty. Yeah. Uh, um, is there any point as they're walking through that either of the adults I could uh, slither up in the general direction of and, you know... Basically, I'm trying to see if they notice me. Yeah, you can try that. Okay. I will... Just one of them, not wanting to attract both of their attention at Mm -hmm. once. Okay. Do I? (laughs) He does not react to you. I will leave that note. uh, (laughs) While Ralph is looking at the trash can, I will leave that note behind him, folded in the shape of a rat. Uh, Yeah. Um... So before, well, okay, if I put myself directly in their path. Okay. Yeah. Do they walk through me? What? Yeah, and it feels weird. Okay. What? Science. Or science. <laughs> okay. What did you, you say there, Sly? <laughs> uh, does he, does Rob notice the piece of paper after I? Okay. Uh, Just kind of go into my normal form and go there. So it is like that red dwarf thing, although they don't have the H's on their he- head. That's how you're supposed to tell. Huh. See. That show is false advertising. Uh, two tens on driving the cafeteria cook mat. Does anything happen? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. They must have some sort of generator. Uh, some sort of defense, yes. Yes. Yeah, we should find must, it. Yes. And tear it apart. Yes. <laughs> oh. Or we could go back to those 
uh, G-Men or interrogate them, find out what they know. True. Because we did tie them up and leave them in the van. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good point. True, but yes. Yeah, but yeah, there isn't supposed to be like if that's a hologram, have a projector. projector. Sure. Why not? Well, it could be magical. We don't know. A magical projector, then. Well, we lose. We are monsters. It fits. Anyway, yeah, I will slink back out to the van and, you know, make okay. ca eyes at one of the. Uh, <laughs> I'll even sing the song. So he trusts in me. Just in me. Okay. Yes. You're snoring. <laughs> I once creeped someone out so hard when I pointed out to her that that's the same voice as Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Like, I completely ruined their childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim Cummings. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, anyway, cool. so, yeah. Yeah, it probably was, but still. I mean, they're still shaking off the sleep dust, so they're just kind of... Okay. Uh, Actually, let's hit all but one of them with another dose. Okay. All right. Let's do okay. it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a roll on that. Yeah. So just... they're sleeping. Can I enter their dreams? <gasps> oh, oh yeah. yeah, that also. There works. we go. There yeah. we go. <laughs> that might actually get you more because the inside fish. Yeah. Variation. Right. Well, I would have uh, hit them with my poison fangs that makes them act out of character. So since in character is to be secret government conspiracy agents, to be out of character means that they would tell me everything or be Steve well, the accountant with the underwater. Mortgage. Yeah. I could take oh, one yeah. And yeah. Take another. Okay. Um, but her first. Okay, her, you first. Um, thanks to the combined effect of two mood and personality altering substances, um, this guy's dreaming in Technicolor. Uh, <laughs> I've been dreams like this before. <laughs> and, um, woke up the the colors, they taste so loud <laughs> in your nose. <laughs> Um, <laughs> purple hay is <laughs> all the You're getting a lot of disjointed images. You're essentially feeling a lot of overwhelming pride and success as if progress is being made. Um, can change the world. I can go with the you, distance. I will throw something. <laughs> you get a, you get a, yes. You get another <laughs> feeling of of accomplishment, of success, of financial okay. security at long last. Obviously not, um, Steve. <laughs> and then you start, and then the dream starts shifting to the facility. And then on one moment you see the facility as you saw it, and then the next moment it looks like an abandoned house. And just only for a brief second and then flashes back. <laughs> um, you see one... monsters. <laughs> You see one kid walk in, I looking as they are, but very, they obviously, is. like you would imagine, Lucy walking in very sad, very scared, very frightened, walking out very happy. And for the briefest of moments, you see that um, instead of a face, it's just kind of a blank white slate for the briefest of seconds before it comes back. And can she delve further in the dream, or try and? Poke well, it? it depends. Are you going to delve further in the dream? Uh, Dreamy. Sure. Should I roll? <laughs> no. Okay. Make sure I get this right. <laughs> Do. What does Young have to say about this? Because we all know what Freud has to say about it. Sometimes <laughs> it's just a cigar. <laughs> oh, I figured it meant that we all wanted to, you know, have sex with our mothers. <laughs> Pass that to Anne, please. Uh-oh. Okay. You are forced out of the dream because yeah. you delve further and you see what's on that paper and a nondescript voice going, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all the voices work. Oh. So she pops out of the dream? Yes. What did you see, oh great shark guy? <laughs> the... The facility's actually a house. An abandoned house. 
and the children go in sad, but come out happy, but it seems like it might be a mask, that they're not really happy. What do you mean about a mask? I don't know. I, I didn't get more than that. So, and then someone told me no, and I got kicked out, which is really weird, because that doesn't usually happen. So is it one one of us? What do you mean? One of us. Well, when you said no, did it feel like, you know, one, uh, one of us, or? No, not one of you telling me no. Well, like monsters, yeah, but like something similar. Like maybe the dreamer. Oh, so. Oh. Hmm. Strange. So that's like, so Mr. Man here knows a little bit more than he should. Well. Hmm. Or at least somebody else is pulling his strings. Wait, a cell phone. A A big boss. And many buttons. (laughs) Perhaps there's a button to remove the illusions. Yes. I don't think cell phones work that way. (laughs) It could be one of those smartphones. I'm a swarm of rats. I probably... I'm not. Your logical choices are limited. A swarm of rats that live with a homeless kid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't follow the latest iPhone. You don't to crap. <laughs> like, by the way, the fact that they have a working video game system, even though it's probably about a decade behind the current console war, yeah. Dog is probably going nuts of shit. Yes, being the Dreamcast is the finest video game. he could system. stay on my Actually, it was. Years. So they're, you're damn lucky <laughs> to have it. <laughs> See, there you go. That's the, that's the neighborhood of Wino. It's just like, yeah, Dreamcast. Yeah, I know that's some shit new. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Jet Grind Radio. Yeah, she's Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. Drive that forklift. All right. Um, I will uh, use. Uh, know lots of secrets and can find out more uh, to on the phone. Tell me your secrets, phone. Uh, <laughs> Delete all pictures of Ron. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on TV. That's what you're supposed to do with them. Okay, Google. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I accidentally activated Siri. Oh, uh, pictures of dicks. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm so disappointed you're with this table. <laughs> See, it's funny because Dan and I have almost exactly the same vocal timber, so when he says, okay, Google, I can make his phone find things. <laughs> I got a straight flush. I can't believe this. Well, what, 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 <laughs> usually can ten eyes, I got one through, through ten. I, I actually show? failed. Yeah, Wait, um, seriously? Right, no, no. The important part, yeah, yes, I got one he through even ten. locked it down. That's like some but kind I can of miracle. Sneak that in should be says, like bonus Okay, points. Google. <laughs> As long as I get there first. You think, yeah. but no. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I failed. Yeah, you essentially do the... Because you don't know how good. Yeah. One that goes okay, Google, and the other one goes... Pictures of dicks! <laughs> yeah. We're, sometimes we're not. I'm not that coordinated. So, hmm. How do I rat? Their secrets are safe. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> their security is too great. Me's. Yes. So, huh. If this whole thing's a hologram, at least that that out there, mm-hmm. I really wonder what's what's the point of the uh, antennae up there on the on the van. Oh, on the van. The van. I about the van. We're in the van. Yeah, we're in the van. Maybe we could. Just Strangely it. enough, the van you guys have to actually obey the normal laws of physics to interact with. Awesome. So, so it's here. It's, so it's actually <laughs> the van here. is real. Get we could the drive the van into the building, <gasps> but it's just going to get well. That wouldn't possibly kill everyone. <laughs> well, they you maybe door- want to kill all humans. Yeah. Well, we could just drive the- it slowly until it touches a wall. Well, actually, does the building have an indoor garage that it goes into, or is it mm-hmm. just a just the parking lot? And then they walk up. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. We could set the cars on fire in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, and you're getting on to me about eating a guy. Good. That's property damage. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. All right, well, as the most humanoid. Well, I was going to, you know, oh, flap sorry. one of them in the face a bit. Oh, okay. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. <laughs> and your next plan is? At, having Asian. already... Having already He's nibbled He's still going to try. Right. <laughs> Do I need to uh, roll those poison fangs? No. Or I can hold them, too. Agent pink number 78QV. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just kind of lulls back over to the side. Well, 
What? One rat. Tail in the face. <laughs> There's one rat on each shoulder holding him up. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll spring him up in the vine, just like, hey, come on, buddy. What do you freaks want? Well, our kid's back from one. What is it that you want? That's what we're so curious about. I don't want you. I'm just supposed to bag and tag you. For who? Nothing. <laughs> For who? <laughs> Grandma nuts. If I knew that, then that means I could tell you that. And then I would be a liability, and then. <laughs> What? <laughs> you were dozing off. <laughs> I wonder why. My bad. Uh, that was just for spite. <laughs> <laughs> so the the so the nerds in the coats tell us that there's other nerds that wear suits and slacks and the occasional flannel shirt that. They talk to kids, and then they're and and then the assets attached to the kids are no longer attached to the kids, and so they're more easy to take down, and so that's what we do. They let us know when there are assets on the field, and then we make contact and we tag them and we take them. And the nerds in the coats swear. Uh, like somewhere in Arkansas. Where are we? Geographically, um, northeast, like the northeast. Yeah, the northeast. Ah, oh, hence the fog. Yes. Ah. So mm. I was like, uh, other question. Uh, what's up with the light show house out there? Mm. We're told to not go inside. They tell us when we're allowed to get on the property. Mm. So you never tried to, you know, go into the building. It's a, it's. <laughs> he understands compartmentalization. Yeah. So. Here. Oh, okay. It's not my problem. My problem is that you guys are going to be outside, and that eventually, when they realize that it's taking way too long to target assets that are supposed to be ready, they'll send more people, better equipment, and a few more of you with collars on. And then we'll get you. That's how it works. Huh. Okay. So what do they use us for? Well, you, you just said that they put collars on us for attack beasts. At least some. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, presumably, yeah. you know, it'd kind of be just a circle plan. jerk to yeah. just use us yeah. for that. They're putting us under a bad contract. So really, we need to send him into the building because he's the proof that we're real. Because the, the the facility is some sort of anti belief system or something, but like they're trying to sever our link. So uh, we if we can get the the proof that we exist there, uh, then that should cause some sort of psychic implosion. Uh, one thing or the other will you know be destroyed. Uh, so hey, you mind if I try something? Doesn't involve eating. <laughs> It was it was a legitimate question. <laughs> no, no, I, I will give you that, buddy. I will give you that. So, because if they if they'll at least go for him, uh, use the strangling vines for useful grabbing, holding, breaking, to go under into his suit where I'm not seen, wrap around him, and then puppet him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just poking out like right around where I could at least see. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh god, you're heavier than you look. <laughs> but do I need to roll for this one or? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I accept. Yes. <laughs> the the heights can be fairly high to not catch attention before you get to the building. And even still, the G-men are not supposed to get this close. But you're bigger. Mm-hmm. So it's going to throw some red flags. So we're on a time limit. So yeah, but that's that's the thing. Like we. We force that they're, keep, they're keeping them excluded, so we force them to, to go with each other. And that would, if the kids see the G men, they would definitely like, oh yeah, no, clearly you're full of B, you know. Uh, two H, two threes. Okay. Uh, two H make it so way. Oh, and your tears would make a great uh, vessel for uh, <laughs> secret weapon. Oh yeah, no, you want to be sweat. This guy's all sweat. <laughs> 
It's kind of gross, I guess. Yeah, it's more of a it's, still, it's mm-hmm. still salt, though, right? You know, salt water. Because um, sharks like that, right? There'll be a carpet of rats. I don't know much about sharks. Underneath, <laughs> so. Um. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we could we could actually get another guy up there, and then the rats could try and drive the car slowly up to the <laughs> ground. So. Uh, also, if you want one of his shoulders to talk, because uh, yeah, let's be honest, you don't want me talking. Uh, maybe we're trying to make a we're trying to pick up. Yeah, we come up with some false pretense. We have to make a delivery, or we have to make a pickup. Have you uh, heard the good news about the kingdom of God? Yes. Uh, so we drive the van up there to further escalate things. But it, uh, like, does, isn't that when it is, everybody gets arrested? On it. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to know we're lying. Well, yeah, no. That the whole point is to force the G-men in the hospital to interact because they're that like the hospital has something that keeps us from being perceived as real or from interacting. Mm-hmm. But the G-men obviously can't inter- interact with us. We can interact with the van. Um, so use it as a bridge, I guess. And the G-men are the proof that we're not a hallucination. So that the kids see the G-men uh, and the van, then they should realize that the therapy <laughs> that that we're real. Because the the monster hunters that are chasing us are real, and they'll automatically know that the G Men are the monster hunters. Well, if they're men in black uh, screaming about, uh, oh wait, I could drive him mad, and like, oh, you're being, you're under attack. They're all around you. You must get capture the assets. The kid, they look like kids, but they're really assets. So we could force them to go into psychotic breakdown. And, uh, okay. While you're talking this part of the plan out, yeah, mm-hmm. Aaron, you cross the barrier of the fog. And Agent Pink just slumps out of your grip. Uh oh. <laughs> um. We we got an issue. <laughs> so that's not enough. No. Uh, uh, hmm. Damn. So is he? Is he is he now completely in uh, insubstantial? Yep. So. Or you are. Well, or I am. So. Either way, you cannot interact with him. It's weird. Fuck. So we need so a giant. I'm guessing that's we need a fan. fan. Okay. So ponder yeah. that for a little bit. Okay. Then we'll also be substantial. What's Madison. Yeah. Your turn for individual therapy. Oh, sweet. Subsistence is very substantial. Uh, um. Yeah, individual therapy. That sounds great. So, Madison, let's mm-hmm. let's talk about Feelings. all these obligations you put on yourself. Sure. Um. Well, my parents expect a lot of me because I'm brilliant and I'm so good at everything. Okay. Um, and I just, you know, I want to do everything and I want to be good at everything. So talk to me about the priceless dulcimer. The what? <laughs> um, I don't play the dulcimer. I play the clarinet. I would never go near the dulcimer. Then it's not my is, instrument. Then how did the dulcimer get broken? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, it looked like someone... Heavy sat on it. It was it was probably Bertha. You know, she's awful. But Bertha doesn't play the dulcimer. Well, I didn't say she played it. I said she Spotlight. sat on it. <sighs> I I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't there. I mean, but you were there. I I heard a crash, but I wasn't looking at it. Madison I was Kate, we've around. talked about this for months. You were there. You destroyed a priceless dulcimer and a bunch of other. Things from the music room when when you got passed up for first chair. So why don't you tell me what happened? Well, first of all, it's total bullshit that I got passed up for first chair because the girl who beat me is the uh, band director's daughter. So. That's just like nepotism, okay? And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Props on using big words. Thank you. And second of all, I don't, I don't remember what happened after that. And then, um. And then I left the band room. And I didn't turn around to see what had gone on. So. How did the dulcimer break? I don't know. Someone must have come in while I was in there. Um, Someone like who? I I I don't know. I didn't see. I don't remember. God. 
this is legit good role play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was like a big giant teddy bear or something. <laughs> oh, big giant teddy bear. Yeah. Is that anything like the big giant teddy bear you drew for Dr. Schmackenfleid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think well, that's his name. <laughs> Before he recommended you for treatment. Probably. You've been drawing a lot of pictures of a giant teddy bear over the years, Madison. What's mm-hmm. what's going on with the teddy bear? I I happen to like them. I think they're cool. Doesn't every little girl have a stuffed teddy bear? Not one with giant claws. <laughs> well I like Wolverine too, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I bears have claws. I think it's unfair that uh, teddy bears are discriminated against and not allowed to have claws like a real bear. So you're saying a giant teddy bear got into the music room <laughs> and wrecked it because you got passed up for first chair. I was being facetious, okay? Okay. <laughs> So that means you broke, you wrecked the music room. No, I just said someone else must have come in. I don't, I don't remember doing anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't do anything. So there wasn't a giant teddy bear. No, I was making that up. God. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Anything else? Yes. It's going, to, it's going to end horribly. <laughs> All right, defend yes. yourself against uh, teddy bear. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that terrifies you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see what probably the best bet here would be before I go awesome. Mm-hmm. Probably the lightest one. Oh wait, I shouldn't be giving you advice. <laughs> well, there's lots of choices for the lightest one, though. That's the problem. No, well, unless you got two fives, it's pretty one to one or the other. Yeah, let's just go for three fives. Defend yourself against three fives. Oops. All right. Oh, it's th- with three. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um. Hmm. Maybe something where I can use a bunch of dice, but I don't. I don't know. Do you have conniving? Uh, no. What face goes I have charm. I have charm. You like, charm. I can I, you just be so pleasant. I'd be like, yeah, of course I'm saying. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to see. I think it's just lovely. I enjoy my busy schedule. Two fours and two ones. Okay. Yeah. So you're good. All right. See, everything's fine. I told you I was just making it up about that teddy bear. (laughs) (laughs) You were just making it up, weren't you, Madison? I just said I was. Were you? (laughs) Was I? Okay. Okay Okay. then. God, I'm so glad I don't have to do therapy with you because you're a shithead. (laughs) 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 Anything else? No, we're all good to go. All right. And then it's Lucy's turn. Which doctor am I seeing? Uh, you, you guys all see Dr. Hornet for individual. Dr. Hornet. Okay. <laughs> what I heard. Okay. Um, so, Lucy, uh, looking over your, your background information, your mom's very concerned that you're not adjusting well to our little corner of the United States. I understand That's it's not cool. Obvious. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> 
Goodbye, Dr. Horner. We're done here. <laughs> Mic drop and walk out of the room, Lucy. It's cold here. No. There's no ocean. It pretty much sucks. And so does your face. <laughs> So Hawaiians. <laughs> don't, don't alienate our fan base. <laughs> There's surely one of them out there. Hey, we go. We go as far as China. I, I'm sorry to possibly our one or two Hawaiian listeners. So. <laughs> So, thank you for derailing me all the other guys. That was great. I haven't been in a while. Practice um, for Gen Con. Yeah, Yay. Right. <laughs> Tummy sticks. God damn it, Bill. <laughs> Told you we're not doing the haunting. Come on. Therapy. Yeah, there. I kind of want to hear what Lucy did. I kind of want to know what we did. Like, I keep getting there, and then someone yells something like puppy sticks. Damn it, That's man. not what she did. So realistically, this is like the actual therapy sessions at a place that will not be mentioned. <laughs> um... See, and I also don't want to go as dark as it could go. Because uh-uh. that would just be bad. Because he's saving that for me because of being such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Lucy, why is it that you hit your sister? She just was making fun of me. She just fits in everywhere we go. She was making fun of me for not fitting in. Okay. Does, a, does that make Lots it? of people <coughs> The true sisters do fight, but they usually don't leave a four-inch bite out of their arm. Kids fight. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> it was serrated. Let's talk to you about the aquarium. <laughs> Where did you get the shark's tooth? <laughs> Where so, did you get the collection of shark's tooth? Where did you make the shark tooth war club? <laughs> okay, we need to stop so we can do this. <laughs> so Lucy, why did you bite your sister? As I said, she was making fun of me. It's not fair. She's always so mean to me. Your sister was screaming that... Uh, that you threw a fish at her? <laughs> like you do. <laughs> Before you bit her? Well, yeah, we were just eating fish and I just got so frustrated and I thought it'd be really funny, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really funny. <laughs> Seems legit. Yes. So you're saying that you don't feel sorry about the fact that you bit your sister? Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, we always make up eventually. Uh, your sister is still in the hospital waiting for a skin graft. We- Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus, Shark God. <laughs> Shark God don't give a crap. <laughs> Shark God's not Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean to buy it that hard? What's the teeth that shark? I don't know the power of new teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the little children, come to the buffet. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting because, like, Michelle and Aaron both denied that they did anything wrong. <laughs> but like, yeah. Anna's like, yeah, no, I did it. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. taking the fall for the shark. Yeah, like, I did it. Or, yeah, no, or like, you were t- he saved my life. <laughs> I know, exactly. That's what I like. Is like, I was Dan, like, it's easy for Dan to work off Michelle and Aaron because, like, no, nothing happened at all. I don't, don't blame me. But she's. So it's like, oh, well, you know, then there's that. Now, then you, but this is also good because you get those kids that rationalize their behavior. Yeah. Point where it's someone else's fault. Right. But yeah, no, I did it. I did it. I'll do it again. (laughs) All right. So to keep this from getting any worse than it already is. (laughs) That's great. Let's see if the therapist can weasel you into actually believing that you're the one that bit her and not your friend. Oh, yeah. 
to I roll something too. You could, um, uh, yeah, true. depend how are you defending the pension. You like uh, if you're just like fuck, it, I don't give, I don't feel bad. That would be guts plus courage probably. But if you're trying to rationalize, it'd be like brains plus out think. Uh, if you throw a tantrum, that would be a feet or hands thing. Um, Can I be just so darn cute and charming? Yeah. With that. my ambiguous ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> Five sevens. Holy oh, shit. You five. All right. You could throw in a relationship uh, if you wanted. With your sister. Yeah. I don't have a sister in my relationship, so I'm guessing I can't. Yeah, maybe because you had your shark fire. <laughs> no <I'm> kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm guessing I can't use my monster as my relationship. You can, but if you still fail, it's going to be very severe consequences. <clears throat> so, because you had five total, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no and way. And it's gnarly. I don't think there's any way I could beat that even if I had to. Well, if you Just, get. Yeah, well. You know, that's what the location is. So. Oh. <laughs> so, you'd have to get with They're all around. Right. to totally negate it. Um, let me look at your guys. Uh, yeah, mom and dad, or crush a boy she hasn't met yet that's on a vision. Yeah. Like, they'd be like, without the shark god, how will I have that vision of that cute boy again? Like, that could be a peg. Um, that's why she's so protective of the shark, because she needs that vision to find out. <laughs> I have the vision, I just haven't met him yet. Right, but, but what but if you... But the shark is supposed to guide you. Yeah. Um, so you can throw that in. That'd give you three more dice. That's true. Okay, yeah, I want to protect my shark so I can also meet my future husband. Let's see, it's two. Um, it gives me still only two nines. Two nines. Two twos. Two twos, okay. You can only apply one to one, yeah. so you could eat two of them, so it still becomes three. And then it's gnarly four. And then back four. up to four. Well, if it's gnarly four, yeah, no, basically that means if any, everyone, anyone is one shot, if they're... Yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Okay. Okay. So, what does that mean for me? That <laughs> means that you are teetering on the edge of losing your connection with your friend. Oh no! Oh my god! And so, what is what would you describe the one item that defines your connection with your mom, with your shark god? Shark necklace. <laughs> Uh, does it have to be something I carry on me, or can it be anything? It has. It doesn't have to be something you carry on you. It just has to be an item that, like, it might be the item that your that the shark replicates when it tries to hide in plain sight. Okay. Can it be my surfboard? Sure. Is that too big? I technically it's too big, but okay. for all intents and purposes, why not? Yeah. Or it could be like a buggy board, something yeah. smaller. So. Yeah, because you can still go boogie boarding on the lake. <laughs> Shark tooth in the northeast. Now. Might be a little cold, but yeah. that's... Little cold. Uh, I guess it could be a tooth. That would probably be easier. It's okay. a tooth on a necklace. <laughs> um, so it could be something small and easily. Well, because it's sharp, it's not. You're not allowed to carry it with you around the facility, but well, you are allowed to have it around so you can look at it and feel better. <laughs> personal items. Um, and so, but the therapist has. Well, I was just looking at the die. But uh, Mr. Hornet has asked, has, um, has taken you out to the storage shed and you've gone through your things. And it's like, because you. I, I don't feel that it's healthy for you to have anything like this since you bit your sister so severely until we can get to the problem. The bottom of you taking responsibility and being able to feel remorse for biting her. So I'm going to hold on to this for a while. That's not good. I didn't bite her with the tooth. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lucy. It's just not good. It's not a good thing for you to have. When I get it back? When I decide. That's all I have from Hawaii. And... Um... Once Mr. Hornet walks back into the building with the shark tooth in hand, um, he starts walking up to various staff members and starts whispering to them, 
quietly, and then and one of them's like, okay, Lucy, we're going to have you change room assignments for tonight. We're going to have you go into this room uh, and stay there for this evening um, because Dr. And Mr. Hornet is concerned that you might be a harm, potential harm to others. So it'll just be for a day or so. It'll be fine. You'll go back to your room, and you and Madison will be roommates again, and it'll be fine. But for tonight, we're just going to make sure that you're both, you're both safe. I don't feel like <laughs> Until now. <laughs> it's uh, angry when someone tells them. Uh, anyone with brains plus remember. Yeah. You need to be right. out of the room. Okay. That's a big old note. This brain. Uh. Nope. Uh, dog Jones is a lot of things. Remembering things is not a it's actually more of a survival skill at this point. <laughs> Pass is not his friend. I got three sixes. That's oh uh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> um, that's the room that kids tend to sleep in before. Like that's that, like normally if they spend a night in that room, everyone feels really weird or they'll have a really strange dream. And you know this because you've been here for a while and you've had a lot of strange dreams. Mm-hmm. But then right after that, that seems to be when the kids turn around. They listen to staff completely. They don't question anything, and then they go home within a couple weeks. Yeah. Mm. All right. So must be the room where the good drugs are. Um, and so that's where they've taken yeah. Madison for the evening. Or Lucy. No, Lucy. Or Lucy, sorry. Lucy. You're Madison. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Am I locked in there? Locked. Like I wish I had the door handle. <laughs> is she secluded in there? <laughs> no, she's secured. She has been secured. Thank You've you. been secured in there. They can lock it if you get violent, but when you're not violent... They're just going to leave staff outside the door that are going to make sure you stay in that room. What if I have to go to the bathroom? So I will escort you to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I'll walk you to the bathroom. They won't escort you to the bathroom. And technical terminology that most of the listeners won't distinguish, Bill. This is a B-side anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Um, okay. Think. Amako feels you get a sudden feeling of dread. Wait, I'm a shark now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You get a I'm sudden a feeling of dread. I'm a shark. And do you guys notice okay. the fog is starting to clear up a little? All right. Hmm. That's... Since the tooth has a connection to the shark, can the shark find the tooth? Now you can. Because it's outside of the storage shed. It's in the. Yeah, no. The doctor has it now. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought it was in the storage shed. Well, it was, but now the doctor took it. So it's out of the storage shed. So it's only clearing up for her, though. No, it's clearing up for all of you. Okay. Oh. Like you, it's clearing up in the sense that you can see things, but you're not. You're beginning to see more things as they are. So is it an abandoned hospital? Pretty much. Okay, but there are people there. Yes. Okay. Huh. Okay. So, um, can we pick up the guy at the edge of the border? You can. So we can. So I'll get closer. under hit again. Yeah. Well, so. okay. All right. Feeling good. Feeling better about this, bud. Sorry, I dropped you, but uh, you you kind of I couldn't touch you. I can touch you now, buddy. Ah. Ragdoll. Um, I said we could put the van in neutral and just sort of roll it up there and then turn on all the gadgets. Again, it's a distraction. Uh, While we what? I don't know. Uh, (laughs) This is as far as we get. Well, we can go. Well, let's see. uh, I'll take a couple steps with the controlled agent. Mm -hmm. How close am I getting to? Can I actually step onto the porch before it? uh, Before I lose control or am I retaining? You still maintain control. Hmm. I think we can go in. Oh my god, he's like octo. He's octo dadding it, isn't he? Uh, uh, Dadly as uh, cash. Uh, <laughs> fumbled core. Um, <laughs> Clopped. Yes. So, but again, my 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 <laughs> belief is that if we force the hospital disbelief thing with the mm-hmm. G man, which is proof that we're real. Then that will force some sort of that will overload the defenses, and we'll be able to reunite with them. Uh, that's my theory. Uh, All right. 
But uh, probably defenses are probably coming any minute now. And show Aaron that picture I drew for you. Aaron, okay. Uh oh. I know. Uh oh. That symbol is scrawled on everything. Everything. Is it Snape kills Dumbledore? Like on the building? <laughs> yes. Huh. Huh. So do I see it too? Since yes, you guys all see it. So oh, okay. once right. you get close enough to the building, it's what is the it? Elder Sign. So, not the Elder Sign. I saw this in the dream, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know secrets. Secrets and lies. <laughs> secrets and lies. <laughs> Why are you in your head, though? Uh, I've seen that before. Snake home. You're starting when you're looking at people. You also notice. Some of you, you're starting to understand what your shark friend was talking about in the dreams. Oh yeah. Some of the, some like there are some of the staff that look completely normal, and then there are other members of the staff that their faces, like the actual features of their face, are almost mm-hmm. like not even really there. Hmm. Their true face is just a blank. plain blank sheet of white. Mm. Is it smooth or are there like noses and stuff? Smooth. Ooh. Well, so that's creepier but less gross. No. So thanks. Uh, so two nines are my highest match for secrets. Yeah, you recognize that sign. Is it this? It, it is the Slender Man. Yes. So, uh, who is this Joker? He hates him. He's like a monster, but worse because he kidnaps people and they go away forever. <sighs> and there's no kid associated with him. But he's so this, so this is one of his places then. Yes, there's also something about forgetfulness and, uh, well, you know, illusionary things. So, um, Illusion. do I know anything weaknesses about him? Or uh, I know if we, oh, cell phones, cell phones have cameras, do they not? We could record things and see the things as they really are. If I could only get this infernal gadget to work. <laughs> Perhaps one of you. Um, um again, no, read really not too bad, but uh, yeah, that thing that looks like the ca- that button that looks like a camera. What does a camera look like? Uh, the uh, <laughs> round thing with the round thing on top of it, and the box. Yeah, yeah, take a wild stab at it too. Yes. Yes. As I'm pointing with the control G, man. So, so the swarm, the so swarm of rats is looking at it, or some of the rats are holding the camera while others. So a swarm of rats walks up to an abandoned <laughs> hospital with a yeah. uh, camera phone. Yeah. yeah. First, they take footage of themselves. I'm guessing. Yeah, rat, <laughs> not rat selfies. <laughs> Let me they're, selfie. they're trying to record the hospital, but there's just rats everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> there's rats. There's a rat looking in the screen. Yeah. Suddenly, health there's sanitation swings in a rope. <laughs> that rat with the sunglasses. Flying by on a skateboard. <laughs> Sparkler in each hand. <laughs> Stay radical, kids. Well, where did he even get those sized for for a rat? Well, you just put two, a normal That's one. The power of the 1990s. <laughs> uh, so, what does anything? Does it look even different? Do I see Slenderman in the corner of my eye? You don't see Slenderman in the corner, but you, yeah, it's like this is the fact that the kids are able to survive in this environment is kind of impressive. Yeah, like you're able to. Looking through the camera, you're able to see things as they truly are. Um, so, like, the fog is gone. There is yeah. no fog. The... That's what a camera does? That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, we get the camera to the kids and make them look at it. They'll realize the truth. Can we get the camera through the doorway? Um, With well, the interdiction thing of me? Well, well, that we have the puppet. Open the door, puppet. Well, <laughs> I thought he couldn't get the puppet through one. No, was. no, it's the fog. It's, it's, the fog is clearing. Yeah. So, yeah. You're um, well, yeah. Let me uh, go ahead. Ambulate, ambulate, manipulate. Well, manipulate objects. All right. Well, I'll see you. Hold it. <laughs> How do I hand? <laughs> Do I have... Oh, my claws might be too big. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, you could open doors. Wait a minute. No, sure, I, totally. No, like you know what? If they need this... Oh, it's like, we can actually touch this place right now, right? Well... Screw it. I don't need this mook. Drop him and just spread my, all of my vines into the house. That's yeah, probably going to trigger defense. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this point again that Aaron self-selected as the scapegoat. <laughs> this is not the scapegoat. The trap setter. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the trap springer. There you go. The All alarm right. setter offer. The alarm 
stuff like that. You, you know what a scapegoat is, right? It's the goat that, like, the nation of Israel heaped all their sins yes, onto for I the do. years <laughs> to take their place. So since you're setting off all the traps, you are, in fact, are it's in the definition <laughs> of the scapegoat. Anyway. All right. What kind of, what kind of trap? Um, or guardian. No. Essentially, now, now everyone is alerted to your presence. Like, the faithless staff are, like, you don't, you don't, you're not even hearing the words come out of their mouths, but the staff that still have their faces are trying to usher all of the children away. They're leaving Lucy and her, the two, two faceless staff are still standing outside of Lucy's room to keep her there. Well, I'll get the phone to you, because you're the fastest. Yep. You're shuffling mm-hmm. at 150 miles an hour. Yep. Oh, um, um, but at least like, with the alert, do I actually sense where Tommy is now? Yeah, like you guys. Actually, I have nine dice in my move pool. <laughs> what? what? I gave it to her. But yeah. yeah. She, Just say it. Yeah. Yeah. I have so thumbs. And I have six. I can get us to their hands. I can get us to them like that. Hands. Well, anyway. let's get Lucy first because she's the most in danger. All right. And, and also, we want sharp also knowledge, so. you notice that the cafeteria area has been cleared out, and there's a giant version of that symbol painted in blood. Well, that's with not good. a shark tooth sitting in the middle of it, like and dried or fresh. Yes. Both. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Since it's been used multiple times. So. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That's Lucy's so. tooth. Oh, well, you should get it. Or, or maybe not. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Yeah, we should, uh, and there I are a bunch of faceless ones around this this particular symbol, and one in particular that is moving in a rather rhythmic pattern. So this is probably the combat thing? section of the game. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, normally, initiative is handled with the um, when the kid is the person with the highest brains. Uh, actually, the person with the lowest brains declares first and acts last. Um, so the other people have the uh, luxury of declaring. Brains plus out think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, brains yes. plus out think. So that'd be four. So the bad guys. Uh, let me check on this. This is so. Oh. This says 250 miles per hour. About oh, 250. That, I'm sorry. I didn't read that. That's amazing. Uh, totally going so fast. So fast. Last one there's penis bomb. <laughs> Bill, Bill, keep it up fast. Okay, all right. Uh, what are you little wankers doing in my haunted house? Get the fuck out of there. Number, isn't it just like there's a pool that you guys will just need to whittle down? the shark. Don't yeah. Uh, the there's shark. two types of bad guys. Do you one, know my dad? Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, there are named characters that oh, are treated like good. monsters with hit locations and everything, but then there's threats, which are treated as like a single dice pool. And then all day, da- instead of doing it by location, so like <clears throat> faceless dudes, 10 dice, and then you can give them some powers like gnarly times one, awesome times two, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then in case we once and so each die we of damage we do it reduces more. Of the damage. So first you have to deal with the threat of the cultists. Yes, the faceless slender. So we cultists. could we could face, face multiple threats at once. Uh, the faceless therapist. Yes. The main thing is that they can assign all. Their main advantage is that they can assign all their pools without taking penalties because there's multiple dudes. Yep. So if they roll three sets, they could assign it to one, mm-hmm. two, three. Um, and the main thing is us, also for us when you declare your action you have to declare if you want to defend or attack or do both if you do both you choose the smaller of your two dice pools and you subtract one die and then you're looking for multiple sets so keep in mind if you want to go all offense or all defense um, if you have any attack powers with area um, or gnarly or uh, like I have area um, it, it has bur- wow my claws also have burning um, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I shouldn't use that because there's still children and I don't want to set the building on fire uh, burning can be like acid burning yeah. too mm-hmm. there you go uh, do I have but that's actually my only attack power uh, I'm sort of a utility uh, person of course you can use useful powers to negate attacks uh, or negate like um Shut, basically stun them, stun lock them, or something like that. So when there's a multiplier, what does that mean? Like that I means awesome times two or gnarly times four. Uh, awesome times two means you get to change one of the die uh, dice after you roll. Yeah, so if so you, you always get at least one set. 
Um, or you can do the one. And then... Um, gnarly is extra damage. Yeah. So what's your gnarly at? Times four. So okay. You do, so if you make at least one... If you it, connect with a hit, you do an additional four points of damage. Which is huge. Yeah. So like your giant shark I bite. a yeah. terrible jaw. <laughs> yeah, so... It's terribly badass. Uh, so you're, you're, yeah, if you connect, uh, some cultists are going to have a bad day. Okay. Cool. So... Uh, my brains plus I think is four, or we could just go. I go, you go, like all, you know, or alternate, uh, whatever initiative system you want to use. Yeah, it's easier for you. Um, let's do the brains plus. Well, okay. now we'll do the I go, you well, go you, because we're doing the threat. So the threats are going to act last because they're going to this. well declare last, the, yeah, or declare first. Yeah, they'll declare first. Because um, remember, actions are resolved at the highest width first. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Because um, again, I've run in one of them. Yes. Uh, um, so they're just going to try to, like, they're attacking, they're going to just slow you down. They're buying time. Their goal is to complete this ritual and sever the tie. Okay. So they're just going to try and stun locations. Yes. Okay. So any wit that any set that they get that is not gobbled up means you lose that location for width minus one round. So if they get a three by two, three width on hit location two on you, you would lose access to that hit location uh, for that number of rounds. Um, so like your jaws are what locations? Uh, seven to ten. Yeah. So if they got a seven to ten, they could just like. You basically, they're holding your mouth shut, mm-hmm. uh, so you would lose your action. You couldn't use that, uh, so it wouldn't do any damage. But that would do that if they get multiple. So, how many threats worth? Is it just one pool, or is, are there multiple groups? Uh, thought it was one pool, but they can use multiple sets. Up. Well, you can have multiple mobs of them. So, like, oh, okay. So you could have two mobs. Of you've got two. Dice. You've got two groups. You've got the group that's actually manning the ritual that's going to okay. slow you down, and you've got the group that is. Just going to try to hurt you and drive okay. you off. Okay, so there's all right. So, uh, and they both have whatever dice. So they're they're both at ten dice. They're both at ten dice. Um, so they're declaring first, and they can declare. Uh, they can use all their sets because they're threats, mm-hmm. and they can do that. So, um, mm, yeah, we, we so we have to decide if we're going to defend, uh, attack, and defend, or just attack. Because uh, the one thing is, if you get an attack off before they do, you can ruin their sets. Mm-hmm. So sometimes the best offense is the good defense. Um, so my brain's supposed to think is four. Um, what is yours? Four. four. So Aaron, I'll let you go first. Or declare first. Uh, Michelle, what is your brain's supposed to think? Uh, four. Four. Uh, Bill? Three. Three. Uh, so you're going for us and and five five and declares last um, because you get the luxury of uh, that. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. So, Bill, what do you want to do? Um, I am going to split uh, attack and defend. Okay. Uh, what's so the small I- there two dice pools? Are they both at nine? 10? All right. So you roll eight dice and you look for multiple mm-hmm. sets. Um, what? And then, well, everyone roll, everyone right, declares, right, yeah, and okay. then you roll the okay. uh, So, Michelle, okay. what are you going to do? You just full attack. And are you attacking group one or group two? Uh, group one is the ritual, group two is the attacker. They're just yeah, attacking. The defenders. The uh, defenders. ritual. Okay. Michelle? Um, I'm going to. I'm going to attack the, uh, the people guarding the door, guarding Lucy. Okay. They're part of the uh, okay. group two. Yeah. And they're part of the defenders. Yeah. Okay. My goal is to. So try are you to full attacking? Or are you out. splitting your action? The Lucy's room is. Mm-hmm. No. No. Yeah. Okay. So are you full attacking, or are you going to split? Oh, uh, I don't know. Full attack. Sure. Okay. Full attack. Mm-hmm. Sure. Why so not? you're just rolling all. You get to roll all your dice. Okay. Um, and if you. For whatever hit, whatever ability you're using. All right, so okay. Aaron, what about you? Um, I'm going to uh, useful attack with strangling, uh, useful with strangling vines to hold the uh, uh, cultists in place so they can't complete their 
Um, oh, okay. Oh, which group are you using on? Uh, that's location four or five. No, no. Uh, uh, group oh. one, the ritual. Group two, defending. Oh, uh, the ritual. So okay. Group one. So you're trying to paralyze them. Before yes. They can paralyze you. All right. Um, I will. Do, 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 do. I really can't split my action because it's like I have one pool. Um, I will use um, useful uh, drive people mad with whisperings to paralyze them as well. Okay. Um, so that will be mine. And then Anne, when you get to declare last, are you just going to full attack or are you going to split? I'm going to full attack group two. The ones holding Lucy? Okay. Um, so now everybody rolls, and then you look for your whip. The number of guys will be set. Oh, and I'm going after group one. You're, so you're trying to disrupt the attackers before they yeah. make connections? Yep. Okay. Uh, two twos. Uh, hold on. Um... We'll so just go. Did I add anything I want? For yep. Yes. Yes. For awesome. So you want so. the highest okay. width. So yeah. So I have three eights. Eight. Awesome. All right. What about the little percentiles? Oh, that I didn't. Okay. Know. What was gnarly <laughs> again? Gnarly. Uh, if it connects, damage. it does that much okay. more damage. Okay. Got you. Um. My great intel. Do you have wicked fast on that? Useful. Awesome. Gnarly. Tough. Okay. Cool. So, so. Yeah. Does anybody have wicked fast on the ability that they're using? Uh, yeah. uh, not on mine. No. Not on mine either. Okay. That's fine. Um, who has the highest width? Is I have right? width four. So does Anne? No. Oh, no, she only has three. So Okay, so do, do any of those guys have width four? Or they have three. Uh, yeah, they have have three. three. One has yeah. Okay. Yeah. fives, threes, and sixes. They're all pairs? Yeah. Okay. And um, two. Make sure you remember that. So yeah. two by five, two by three. Was that it? Five, three, six. All right. Just write it down. All right. You're so it gets to be kind of a clusterfuck when there's a bunch of guys fighting at the same right. time. But it's very interesting. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, so the, the, yeah, they're, all then, yeah they're all pairs. Okay. Um, so I have four. Four for which action? With Fern attack. Fern attack, and then you are attacking... Uh, the ritual group. Group one. Oh, so. so that's mm-hmm. four. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would be... It's with minus one, I think. So three points of damage, so they reduce down to seven dice. Um, and they lose one of their sets. Okay. Um, and do they lose the highest set first, or is it... Um, let me double check for sure that that's... Okay. Um, I think it is highest set first. Yeah. So he loses a set. So good job. Um, next, with three. Does anybody have a with three? Mm-hmm. All right. What about you? Or uh, yeah, it's with three. Uh, who are you attacking? Uh, she was attacking group two, group right? Group two, yeah. They the defenders. Um, so that's and they're they're not defending at all. Well, they can't. I guess it, yeah, they they're both it. going all out attacks. <laughs> uh, okay, so. What's uh, how many yeah, gnarly points gnarly does she times have? Uh, four. Times okay, times so times. with six. three minus one is two plus four. Four six points of damage on group two. Yeah, yeah <laughs> she is totes pissed that they uh, <laughs> busted shocked, one, of, right? one yeah. of their sets. <laughs> yeah, let me double check and make sure they only have four dice left. Yeah, so I think they only get two <laughs> sets. Um, they can only have two sets now. Don't mess with a megalodon's kid. <laughs> I'm still attacking them too. I got shit rolls, so. So, uh, so did you get it. how many did you get pairs? Any pairs or? One. Uh, so that's it for with three. No, oh, zero, that's everybody ten. else. Yeah, zeros or ten. <gasps> yeah, zeros or ten. That's, that's right. I totally forgot that. So those you have. I'm awesome. awesome. No, I have gnarly. Oh. Did you already use it? Okay. No. Yeah. All right. Um, it was awesome time so wait, that's it. But that's it for with three. So now we're at right? pairs. So that's going to be a lot of things happening at this point. Mm-hmm. So two by ten. Uh, that ten. You, yes. All right. That's and ten. the defenders group two also got a two by ten. Okay. So they're going up at the same time. Um, 
Um, so you, both of them go through, um, so you can't knock it off. But if you attack, you could disrupt one of their other sets. Um, and if they attack, they can disrupt one of our sets, obviously. So I guess you get to choose. You have to choose first, Dan. Uh, Going to go for the teddy bear, because okay. obviously <laughs> the people that could have handled the Megalodon are currently being fangoriously devoured. Okay. <laughs> so so 2 by 10 is this to paralyze or to do damage? These are the dam- or the damaging ones? These are the damaging ones. Okay, so you take one point of damage to hit location 10, which is four yaks off. And 10, okay, my glassy eyes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so my so you lose one die to that. You also lose okay. one of your other sets if you had any other sets. Uh, but no, you were just full attacking. Yeah. Yes. So that but so your 2 by 10 goes off, and which group were you attacking? I was attacking the All right. set room defenders. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they lose another set, and they take another point of damage. So they have no more sets. Mm, yep. So Wait, when she was attacked, wouldn't she lose a set? Or did it's I it's at the same time. It's yeah, so she's already lost. Yeah. So it's a very cool exchange. Like, the teddy bear tears into them, and they All slam right. into her, mm-hmm. into the teddy bear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. very cool. anime-esque. Uh, <laughs> so that's 2 by 10 2 by 9 Does anybody have a 2 by 9 Bueller. Bueller. Okay, uh, no, two by nine. Wow. Uh, two by eight. I have a two by eight. Uh, and I am. Uh, no, not doing damage because mine has burning. I kind of don't want to set the building on fire. Um, <laughs> it also has area. It's area and burning. I don't know how rats set everything on fire. They chew through the wires. Yeah, I guess so. Well, no, they all have tiny matches. Um, <laughs> but I'm using useful mad whispering, so I'm just whispering into the ears of the uh, attendants like, uh, screwing up the ritual I guess. So, okay. uh, five. Thirteen. It can be blue. Blue. Screw it pie. Yeah, screw it in pie. Go over. Yeah. Uh, so, moist talents. Moist talents. <laughs> you know. Nyarolethotep. Exactly. So. <laughs> moist talents. <laughs> Bubba Hotel. Or Steve, the accountant. Uh, <laughs> so, I Look le- at this rat. Then yeah. back to me. <laughs> so they lose one the of their sets. Yeah. yeah. Back. Um, so they only have a pair of three left. <laughs> yeah. So I, I gobble one of their attacks. Uh, so that, any other two by eights? Okay. okay. Uh, two by seven. Two by six. Uh, those are my defense dice. Okay. So your more shields go up. Uh, two by five. You only got once, right? Uh, if unless you declare to do multiple actions at once, you wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or you have spray in your attack, which can affect multiple. Yeah, like you basically have a flamethrower and you can do multiple sets. So that two by five, two by four, two by three, two by two, two by two, two by two. And that do, they, do they have any sets left? They have a two by three. Sorry. Okay, so they're going off at the same time. Um, so two well, by three. Well, they'd be going. He'd be, I have yeah, two by two. Three. He has oh, two by three. Oh, two so. by threes. Go yes. first. So uh, what? Are, who are that you attacking? Um. These are the ritual guys, so they'll be at you going after you because you're the ones that's up all in their business. All right, fair enough. And they're trying to negate my. Uh, they're paralyzing me, not actually doing damage, right? Right. Uh, so hit location three are rats. Yep. Uh, they grab some of the rats and start, like, I guess, stuffing <laughs> them back. Uh, so I lose location that. That's my useful and sneaky ability. Uh, so I can no longer sneak around. Uh, so that, yeah. For one round? Uh, yeah, for one round. Hey, that's Cool Rat says that's not cool! Yeah. Uh, they, they grab Cool Rat. Uh, well, actually, no, Cool Rat would not be the sneaky rat. No, um, <laughs> no yeah, you're right. So, he would. so yeah. But cool Rat is the one that's burning because he's just going around on the skateboard with sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Cool Rat! We're trying not to set everything on fire this time. Uh, so now two by two. All right, and this is my... Uh, Useful to grab and hold them into place. So, uh, okay. for the uh, for the cult uh, for the defense. Oh, sorry, yeah, for the uh, ritual group. Okay, so that will uh, they don't have any sets left, but that will go off. That will still count for next round, I guess. So, yeah. which will stun you for that. One, well, so. They'll lose. He'll lose his one of his sets. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Um, so that was one round of combat. Uh, so they're not too bad. Of course, one's armed. Yes. <laughs> what were we saying about <laughs> arm ripping? A long way is a thing for ripping. Hey, boss, it's kind of justified uh, at this point. Yeah. So uh, they get to declare first, since they're um, they're going to do the same thing. Defenders are going to what's left of the defenders. They're going to try to pile on Yogso Soft because yeah. they're the only ones left. <sighs> yeah. And then the ritual ones are just going to continue to try to disrupt. Okay. Uh, to keep the last few defenders alive. Okay. Uh, and. So we get to declare actions. Bill, you're up first. Same thing as last time. Woo! 
Yeah. Um, because we did a lot of damage to them. Yeah, no, I'm just going to full attack with the great rippling Okay, well, hold on. Let yeah, everybody yeah, else prepare. Um, Michelle, nice. full attack again. Yep. No defense. All right. Uh, I mean, that's a, full attacking is a good, valid strategy because if you can hit them before they can hit you, yep. then you can disrupt yourself. Yep. Um, like let's see. Mall. A, a uh, I'm going to go with a full attack on one of them with my fly trap jaws. Okay. Uh, group one or group two? Group one is more dice left. Seven. Uh, uh, it'll be group two because, uh, with the ritualists, like, since I'm holding them in the place. No, group one is the ritualists. Group well, two that, are the defenders. Well, that's who I was doing the ritualists the last time I was holding them in place, so I'm just yeah, going to yeah. come out and bite one of them to you can. break the circle. So you're still attacking group one? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> then me, I will continue trying to screw up the ritual. Uh, okay. Big a move. Uh, and then finally, Anne, uh, which I'm group are you going to bite? Continue to attack the defenders. Okay. Keep them off, Teddy. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. They might not. Yeah, you'll, you'll probably eat them before uh, anything. You could actually split your attack and try and attack both groups. You would lose one die off of it, and then you'd have to roll more than If you roll more than one set, you could use two sets, basically. So, how many dice do you have in a, a bite? Nine. Nine. So, you'd roll eight dice, and if you get two sets, you could apply one to each group. You could try that if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, let's see what you're saying. Do you see what I'm saying? I think. Okay. So if I rolled like two fives and two nines, you could the two do. nines could go to one group and the two fives could go to yeah. one Exactly. And you get the gnarly bonus on each bite. But the thing is, you 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 have to you do it with one less die, and okay. you have to get multiple. Do I still get to use the awesome for one of them? Uh, you do actually. So yeah, you could at least get one set. Um. Uh, okay. I'll try that. Okay. So she's gonna try so and double bite. It. Uh, no, no. All right, so everybody roll. Woo. Yay. Mm. I got a critical hit, and if this was not so left behind. <laughs> middly, 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 middly. Yeah, exactly. We'll know that. I was there. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, Bill, or Dan, you can roll for the bad guys. I did it. Okay. Uh, so, with five, with four, no, I got with four, uh, with, three, with three, oh, with four. Michelle also got a crit. Okay, with three, uh, with three, ten, ten nine, eight, six. S- uh, three by six? Yeah. Three by six! Woo! Three by six buttons. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, rolling that, that's got to be some kind of bad omen, right? So we're going, both we're of our attacks are at the same yeah. time. So the rats get a 3 by 6 so they're going to disrupt another set uh, off of the ritualists. Probably there's six set. Yeah. So they only have one set left. Uh, so Michelle, mm-hmm. uh, you attack the defenders. The defenders. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, that's two points of damage plus, did you have gnarly on it? Or anything? Uh, yes, there is gnarly. Gnarly done. Yeah. Woohoo! Three dice Rescue left. Rescue Lucy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So they lose all their sets. So any other with three uh, sets? Well, they're all with three gone. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so I just have three ones. Three ones. Uh, and that was attacking the ritualists. Yes, that was attacking the ritualists. All so right. Do the... you have any gnarly on that? Yes, gnarly times two. Gnarly times two. So that is uh, three four. Two. Four points of damage. Four points of damage on one. They lose their last set. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so there's only three dice left yeah. in group one. Yes. Uh, hey guys, these mooks are kind of bland, just a warning. Yeah. Anne has tens. Uh, and two by ten. Uh, and gnarly four. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, as you can see, threats are not are kind of are the mooks <laughs> of the thing. You can you can beat them up by giving them things like gnarly and awesome, and right? Yeah. Uh, but or yeah. tough, or tough, yeah. yeah, tough to keep uh, on the game for a while. Great choice. Um, yeah, but tough. you certainly like yeah. I mean, okay, play test nuts. We can talk about that later. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys disrupted them in two rounds, and that's just a note that I need to give them actual. Yeah. Attributes because I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Yeah. Do you have um, bigger bads? No, I do not. I got. Um, I got you can a, bar- I got a, well, I got a spare. Pack. A spare because pack. I was probably yeah. I could probably gonna take bigger bads and actually stat up Slendy. Yeah. Uh, well, bigger also, bads also has the actual rules for threats. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, it has example threats. Right. Uh, so that's pretty much what I had was like if they held off, 
if the ritualists, were, if the cultists were able to distract or hold you off for two to three rounds, then they were actually going to get Slender Man to appear, and then you'd have to decide whether or not to face Slender Man or just get your kids and get the fuck out. Oh no, boss fight! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So we actually do get the. Uh, so yeah, it's like you totally wrecked the place with the cultists gone. Like the adults who were, were not faceless, who were not faceless, were like, "What the fu- What the fucking hell?" Yeah. is all this and so they make the arrangements to get everyone sent home profuse apologies you find out that the White Forest Institute never technically existed Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, so the plot is is that it's a cult it's a slender man cult that they would take children who already had an affinity for being attached to an elder tour from beyond time and space yeah um, and essentially bring them here to sever their ties to the monsters and then replace that connection with the connection to Slender Man and turn them into thralls. Oh, cheer- what a yeah. dick. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, Dan and I had already talked about this, and I was just trying to keep it on a hatch. I'm kind of uh, glad I got the dumbest monster in here so I could just play it at that. Yeah. The So, yeah, we reunited, like, Ah, oh, dog, you fine. Yes, 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 we shall go. Uh, there's more Steves to uh, tell them the truth about their failed market. <laughs> um, and so, like and I said, underpasses like, out of fire. Ideally, this would be the last scenario where, like, this is essentially condensing everything. Yeah. Like, ideally the campaign arcs would be more of the establishing the kids and the social structure, the monsters like, being stuck back in town with, like, where the fuck is my kid? Yeah. And trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, like, because they would still be able to write home because the cult doesn't want the adults to start asking questions. Fair enough. Um, And then finding their way to there, and then Leo and Locke are kind of the... They're, they're the exposition piece yeah to let you know kind of to let you know what the plot is and that the G-men are just there because it's a mutually beneficial arrangement the right. cult uses the G-men to come and take the monsters away so was my like, idea so. like would that have, that wouldn't have worked then or the like forcing them to confront like see we're real they, these guys are trying to capture us it would have in the sense that but also at the same time like the G-men wouldn't be, get that close until right. there was an easy target right so well, like you're point. yeah you're fucking the the encounters with the G Man would be more of like in the finding out where the kids are. Yeah. So, so. Um, no, I still lo- love the overall setting. The only thing that if you're setting this up as like I guess like a three or four game scenario. Overall, um, yes, but for Gen Con, I'm just wanting to get. Oh this. yeah, for, right, right, for right. this on um, there because um, uh, at least for the development of the longer one, uh, another idea is maybe that the monsters get pulled in to the facility, but. Because of the way that the Slender Man has everything set up there, or the cultists do, that their connections are fuzzier, and it starts creating that bridge. Because the only reason I say this is, as somebody else who's developed another scenario where the kids and the monsters are kind of separate for a bit in Junkyard, um, putting them in town and then having to kind of having them wander in might be a little jarring, or at least consume more time. So between the, the portions of it, too. Because I like the therapy sessions, and I, I like... The therapy sessions are really good. That, that's that's something that should... Maybe... I would want to see, like, a pretty solid framework for how you would carry out the therapy sessions. Because, like, you actually had to go to the route of saying, you know, it's going to cost you something if you yeah. just try to stonewall. Like, right. I think... It would help the pacing a lot if that was explicit from the outset. Yeah, yeah that we set, if we, set, if we, set, set oh, of yeah. like a skills. We know the consequence. Yeah. We just need to go the consequences on the onset. Right. So, well, I mean, part of it could be figuring out what the rules are. Like, yeah, how, like when, when you try stonewall that word. I mean, it's well for a con scenario, you kind of. Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking in the campaign. longer term sense that would be kind of a rough gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Like, because that's going to be what most like you know. Yeah. Well, as, and, as but, gamers, we don't really like unless it's a game that. A, explicitly does that kind of social combat stuff, which I realize this does to a certain degree, yeah. don't really see that coming and it can kind of be you know. A little jarring. The, the therapy sessions are supposed to be the timer. Yeah. Like, they are the timer right. as, like, the kids the, one of the uh, ideally, by numbers, one of the kids will eventually take the hit. Yeah. And maybe, maybe not like half a billion gnarly, so it's a one hit KO. 
the gnarly numbers started ticking up when I realized that it was going like. Well, and yeah, for the one session version, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, on the other hand, you could just give it like the monster relationship one point. Yeah. So in which case, right. or, um, yeah. or, or two points, I like that. Or if you're well, willing, in if, which case you might as well strip out the gnarly because yeah. what is it doing? Um, yeah. Or one so, of the other ideas to kind of like can uh, at least make it a little more accessible to both groups being there. Um, if you maybe start out the game with the monsters waking up in the when the kids are in the facility seeing them but they can't see them and it's either trying to reestablish that connection by the end before they're completely full or taking it out. So you're saying that the session just starts with the monsters waking up and they see their kids milling about in the hospital? Yeah, and that yeah, in in the facility and that they can follow them around, they can't really see him because uh, there's a have you ever seen the Great Yokai War? No. Okay. I think I, um, no, I think the thing this is fine because we're only at like two and a half hours. Yeah, so okay. This was this is perfect for a comic then you're Yeah, for as it said yeah. is there. Because but, yeah, yeah uh, I was longer. thinking of like my goal is to hit about three hours yeah. with the option of a fourth hour if Mm-hmm. They don't succeed. Well, you could add more therapy sessions. Yeah. Or work and add um, more. I kind of want to hear what Anne has to say about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, well, like, uh, what did you think about the scenario and, like, uh, how the, it played forward? Uh, well, I haven't played this Monsters right. game very much, but I liked having the Monsters try to figure out what was going on, getting to play with just the Monsters separate yeah. from the kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, it's I not. Was, yeah. Confused by what I was supposed to be saying during the therapy sessions. Like, yeah. they kind of As like, most children in therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Can no, Lucy you probably adopt did the best job. Leo? Yeah. Huh? Can Lucy adopt Leo? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that, that could be a thing. Having yeah. two monsters yes. would be. Oh. Well, for a one shot. I'm going to yeah. help her find. Help him like, find. Yeah, like, because that's the other thing is that, <laughs> like, Leo's kind of. Leo is also the hanging Chad story. Yeah. Is that, you know, what happens to Leo? Ideally, like, Leo is the one, like, once you, in the broad campaign sense, Leo does just give up. The G Men come and Leo's just like, you know what? Try to save your kids. And then he goes off to stall the G Men for the final fight. But you guys already found a way to neutralize the G-Man before that. So <laughs> it was just better for G for Leo to be mopey and sad. So, uh, by the way, what did I what did what what was Dog Jones accused of doing? Like, uh, he was he was a homeless kid that was yeah. talking to rats. <laughs> <laughs> Existing while homeless. Right, Vagrancy. Yeah, yeah, what about Tommy? Uh, oh, yeah, no, about about Tommy? All, all the storylines yeah. too, because yeah, which because uh, we only kind of Create, create from the aether, Dan. Wait, 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 no, yeah. What, what yeah. about Daniel? Did you have something for him or the snake junkie? Uh, Obviously, leading an insurrection <laughs> <laughs> against Mister A's debate team. Yeah, uh, Mister A. Mister A. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> well, that's something to think about. Now that you have these pregens and they're written up, you that's can true. About like yeah. I can, yeah. That like that's. Prime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah. And the other thing is, like, how do you guys feel about? Like, I know when the con game, probably the idea of. Setting, and I know that the therapy sessions are going to be kind of a one hit, especially yeah. towards as time goes on. Like it's supposed to start off as kind of a slow, yeah, slow burn to make you realize that there is a threat to your relationship with your monster. Um, but then as time goes on, just because that's how well, therapy will work, sometimes works, is that eventually you just crack under the wall of. Yeah. One thing you assault. could do instead of like making it the relationship and making it uh, like the hit points between the link, you could have it to be like sympathetic damage. So anything the kid de- doesn't defend against becomes mm-hmm. an attack directly on the monster. And they start so the monster, of yeah, the monster loses location. Dice. Yeah, loses yeah. Location. so the monsters are actually more vulnerable for the last. Absolutely. Point. Well, that means I mean, you also have a lot more granular control. Yeah. Like you could roll that ten dice with gnarly times four, and then they lose one hit location. So like one of his tentacles falls off or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Absolutely. Or, like, you lose all your teeth or something like that. You're like, oh, you know, so the shark's gumming on the mop. Yeah, so that's, so once we go into the final fight, depending on how well they've been able to maintain that connection, it can either, it it can either go good or kind of the one shot like So instead of the, so instead of the therapy. So basically the kid is defending for the monster. Yeah, the kid is defending for the monster in preparation for the final fight. Yeah. Not so much that the kids are defending for, like, the kids are the egg timer to determine when the final fight. But I think maybe, yeah. Kids should start being able to see through the the cracks of the 
illusions too. So like it's a two, it's like a prison break game where the players are on the inside and they try to make provide some sort of aid to the guys that are going to break them out. So like maybe they they see a sigil. And they try and wipe it off. Like that could be a whole scene. So I mean, with a con scenario, you only have to, you know, you have to plan it like yeah. four or five. Like my time, so. my idea for the con scenario was to give was to pretty much have the monsters do the investigating, and then have the kids role play be the timing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the individual group sessions give like start damaging the relationship. But with what you're describing, it would be much more. It would be easier to just kind of go through, like. Everyone has an individual therapy session. Yeah, intermixed throughout the rest of the game, right. and it's then there's also a group parts. therapy session to yeah. encapsulate the whole feel to see whether or not, as a group, you guys are able to sustain or defend for your monster. That's right. yes. And then the social scenes are the kids also trying to find other ways to create advantage for their monsters right. when their monsters do come to try to liberate them. Right. The one thing I was kind of feeling, uh, given that the difficulty on the individual therapy sessions was tuned to such that you pretty much had to be relying on relationships, and you're either burning monster points or burning relationship points, I think that makes a makes it a great candidate for kids not being the same player as their monster. Um, um, what in this? Yeah, I mean, in terms of like, yeah. yeah so who are you going to screw over, yourself or yeah. the other player? Like, if it's the choice between screwing and yourself or screwing yourself, I mean, it's just resource. And that might... And that but might, you want to turn it into, you know, yeah, he's saying, a backstabby and, bloodbath, which yeah. is obviously great for a con game. And so, that, and somewhat just, facetiously. And since you probably, hopefully, should have all six players there, um, that's another possibility, too. To well, I, I have it set for three to six. Three to six? Yeah, you don't know how many people show up. So. Yeah, I, don't, I won't know. I, I mean, I think this is fine, as it is. Yeah. I think just, at, like, beefing up the last encounter and <laughs> changing how therapy affects monsters, and I think you, you pretty much got it. Yeah. I mean, you can play around with it. Like, yeah, and that's the other part. It's, like, part of the reason why I have I think it, you're, like, 80% there. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I was 80% the there because I know enough intrinsically about how... Yeah. About the setting. <laughs> Uh, Did some research. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lived a lot of the research, like seven years worth of research. Yeah. Um, All so you could write this game. <laughs> hey, if I turn this into a publishable booklet, well, you have to change Slenderman out. He actually was copyrighted. But that's, right. That's but easy. It doesn't have to be Slenderman. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. That's easy. Like it would be written as some horrible entity, a fail lord or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Any, <laughs> and I would write Elf it. Can. Obviously. I would write it as such as like any kind of fey okay. entity of your choice. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any kind of fey entity that has an interest in enthralling children. Yeah. Was it supposed to be inspired by Golden Compass or is that just coincidence? The, Probably coincidence. Okay. I've never read it. <laughs> every, every time you do anything that remotely touches on severing monsters from kids, which is mm-hmm. what, about half two-thirds of all monster stuff that exists, yeah. it feels like old okay. Christmas. Huh. Yeah, it just it's funny. But I was trying it's to take purely a accidental, yeah. but Tax it's just it. the same thing. I like it. I like it. Uh, I think yeah. good. Like, instead of like, like I was trying to actually go at it as the what ways could someone sever a tie with a mm-hmm. monster and going after the actual bond. Yeah. Not necessarily not a magic eldritch guillotine. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that no. It I mean, yeah, no. Really well. We can talk about this in depth. I think we 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 yeah. it forever. So, anyways, uh, uh, this is a good time, and yeah. this probably won't show up on B sides. I know. Bill. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Did said it first. Yeah. Hey, so-